It's happening. Listen, before this episode starts, we just thought we'd make a little clip to let you know that anyone who doesn't know, we now have a Patreon. It is patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. And there's like a few different tiers on there. And we can go and get where you can sign up to us. And it helps us make this podcast. Helps us make it, helps yeah, us pay for the podcast. Helps us make it better. Helps us improve and put more content out. We've got big plans for things we want to do. Haven't we? Since. <laughs> yes, we have. We've got big plans. <laughs> we have got big yes, plans. Yes, Rob. Yes. <laughs> No, we have got big plans, and without without anyone signing up to the Patreon, this will die. Yeah, this um, will go away eventually because if we can't make it work financially, we can't keep doing it, can we? No, we can't just keep throwing. Fucking no, and we've got Aftermill to buy, and that fucking costs. We've got above. kids to pay for. Yeah. And listen, we I'll be honest. Keep this if I can't, if I can't provide, I'll leave. Yeah. So, and we already know you don't want to make an orphan. We already know how this how it's going, don't we? <laughs> So we needed to be giving us something back. Yeah, please. Because we're bleeding here. <laughs> My kids are begging. My kids yeah. begging. So sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. That's it. There's three different tiers, loads of different prices. Pick yeah. one. Pick one. Help sign us. up. You won't even notice it going out your bank. It's a couple of no. quid. Less than a Tesco meal deal. Oh, well. <laughs> maybe more than a Tesco meal deal. You'd buy a starving just... man a meal deal, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I'm starving. That's what we are. Look at me. Look at him. I'm Do you think star- that? Do you think this? Help! <laughs> Another one. Another one. Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome you to said an- that like there's an audience. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> to, a, welcome I mean, to another one podcast with me, Simon Wozniak, Rob Thomas, and we've got Phil Ellis here. Yeah, right. constant. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> and second, second yeah, time. Second, yeah. Tez Elias. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah, back, back once again. I always forget how shit this starts. Like you literally go, right, go. What do you mean, how shit it starts? Well, it starts just so abruptly that you've yeah. been chatting for ages about How do things. all the podcasts start when you've been in the studio? I don't know. They, they normally, well, one, you get a drink. You have it's to the bring best your one you fucking do, that's coke. why. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a Coke? Because I brought one with me, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I going to well, say, I, I want... We did have water, but they've gone. They've gone. Pillaged. I don't know what the right word. Pill- pillaged. Pillaged, that's it. Is it? That's it, I think. I Is it? So. I don't know. There's uh, loads of podcasts in this room now. Yeah, that's oh, the problem. We, oh, yeah. we we buy stuff for the fridge and then no one else what, does. What what rank are you in the podcast or in this room? We were top dogs, but we're... Still top well, dogs. I think we're still top dogs. There's some questionable numbers going on with one of them, so... Mm. Ooh, which one? Like, go on. Go on. What's happening? Podcast. Our oh. mate Danny. Like but, the young, young Scouse lads. That, like young Scouse lads. Right. And they've got like 30,000 Instagram followers. Decent. Oh and, yeah. yeah, and then like, yeah, they're getting some big numbers on social media, but then I don't think the other numbers equate to what they're getting on social media. So I think it's okay. because their clips are really vibrant and they look young. And uh, oh, I yeah, mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, I've seen some of the clips and uh, it's great. But but <laughs> but like but you, you couldn't understand the word. No, but I, it is really shout like that. I'm just going. I can't quite tell what's going on. But I'd rather watch that than. <laughs> Clip to you two, and then me going, huh? <laughs> like, we just look like we shouldn't be here. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, I we, think we don't look, want to be here. They look vibrant and young. Right. And yeah, fresh. energy, energy, yeah. energy. Yeah, there's energy to the clips. We all look a bit tired. I think that's that's what the audience I, we're going I honestly for. could fall asleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. also, stop, but that's why I think Rob's trying to like, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. like, shut the fuck up. Is that your. Who are you talking to? <laughs> so you're answering the question what's happening and your answer's right, not a lot yeah. <laughs> not a lot's happening you're trying to get a bit of energy in the room and you're all making awkward instead yeah. and then you go no. why is it so awkward it's like, I I, 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 do you it's reckon I could get away with falling asleep on the podcast tonight <laughs> I reckon you probably could you know? yeah I think I might try it I've been in Chester for two hours I know he's had a two yeah. beers because he had fuck all to do any. That's a he just makes his really own problems though don't you you do you are, you are making problems you yourself. Got, why haven't you got a car? I've got my car, but Wait oh, you're gonna you're gonna love this, right? This oh, is gonna make me right. such a scum. I promise you now, Tez, this is to save money in some <laughs> way, and, and the money that he saves is nominal. Go on. Okay, well, Rob may be right. So what it is? Does my insurance was up on Saturday. Mm-hmm. My car insurance. Now I haven't had a car for ten years until I insured it last year. So my premium was about nine hundred quid. Yeah. Now it only came down to eight hundred and ten <coughs> this year, and mm-hmm. I thought it's not good enough. So they knocked ten percent off. 
yeah. took me down to what, 7, uh, 730. To 7.30. And then I was like, well, that's still not really great. So they knocked another 40 off. And I was like, it's still not good. So that I found out. pretty good to me. Yeah. No, just, no, no, no. Not him. good, not good for what I know I could get. So I was like, if I lie and say I've got a lower premium elsewhere, but they won't match my lied total. Right. I know it didn't exist, but what they was, didn't What was that. your lie total? Like 300? Six, 631. Oh, no. I wasn't going. I was <laughs> 320 oh, quid. <laughs> Right, I wasn't taking the piss. So you try, you you've gone down to six, basically six ninety, nine, nine, six ninety, and you, you almost wanted, got a third off, and you wanted another sixty well, quid off. Well, I wanted to get it to six thirty one twenty two pence, which I thought sounded like a realistic number. <laughs> right. Okay. Anyway, well, you'll be glad to hear of what happened. So I realised if I went through top cashback, you get forty pounds back. Back. Yeah. Great. In three thing. months, and I got a quote from <laughs> Sheila's Wheels. And uh, for £616, but only if I started my uh, insurance on Wednesday. So that's why he hasn't got a car, because he so refused to... £576. Can you imagine how exhausting that is? No, that's legit. That's quite good, isn't I it? I think yeah. that's legit. So I had a gig on Friday, uh, on, on Saturday, sorry, and I just the asked train, a friend... Right, hold on, hold on. You spent £21 on the train today to this. Yeah, but I, much, I'm no, only no, doing no, no, this no, out stop, of stop, loyalty. Stop, because stop. I how much would it be as... So I put another ten round, so right. thirty. So there's thirty one pounds out of the what you saved yourself six sixteen. So out of the sixty quid you saved yourself, half it's gone today. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't want to be here. I'm doing this because you got angry because I said I won't let you down, <laughs> and then I thought I do want to let you down, and then you made it clear I couldn't let you down. So I'm here. So really, having a go at me is now just... I'm just saying, well, out to be the something else. You are. Is this the last time you're going to be, do you reckon? No. He's got nothing I better. So. I mean, I, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I wish... I mean, I was going to say that, but we all know I'll be back. <laughs> why, why Wednesday? Why not? I don't, I just... I, I probably could have got more if I'd gone for Thursday, thinking about it. <laughs> I'm kind of what, regretting keep it pushing the start? I don't know why. I thought Wednesday meant I wasn't being too... I was like, I wasn't out without a car for too long. Yeah, so did they the come weekend. to you? Did they come to you and say Wednesday? Or do you just put no? Randall? I just kept changing the date <laughs> to see how much it's cheaper. Down each day. Wow, <laughs> so exhausting, isn't it? That is just—it's not exhausting. <sighs> I mean, it is now. <clears throat> Today, I was going. Yeah, I should have just. Well, this is going to make a great. That's what me. That's what means staying. <laughs> Staying I just can't cold believe on the train, and that. they will clip this for Sheila's wheels. <laughs> <laughs> You've been the Turkish. No, I just had a shave. Uh, I mean, I couldn't be arsed going to take a shave. Right. Shave. Why you start going there to get your beard trimmed? It's the best. It's yeah, because the, the mess of cleaning up a beard, is, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I don't do it. I got in trouble at the Turkish a couple of weeks ago. I was in, and Iran were playing Wales. Right. At so that yeah. time, it was like a 10 o'clock kickoff, and spotting Iran because it was a Muslim country in it. Fair so enough. So they've scored two goals in injury time. I'm cheering. The, what I thought was the Turkish barber was like, oh, Okay, and then <laughs> he asked me for a lift to the mosque because it's Friday prayers, and he goes, "Just it's what you run." And I went, "No, no, just Muslim country." And I was happy they won, and he went, mm, "Okay." I went, "Why?" He goes, "I'm Iraqi, and they do bad things in my country." <laughs> and I went, "Cool, <laughs> K- all right, cool." Uh, I was like, "Ask for England, so." <laughs> was this after the cut? After the cut, oh, thank yeah, God, yeah, yeah. fucking hell! I was like, right, oh. "Okay, I was right, like, well, you're good timing." <laughs> Just when he gets that fiery ball to hit I was like, I, was like, I thought you were all fucking Turkish, but like, <laughs> right. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Have name badges next time. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like with a little country. <laughs> I had that be me that assumed that though. Could have been a different yeah. story, couldn't it? You're looking around I for o- flags. Yeah. In the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always feel like, like I can't really speak to them because I don't want to assume anything. And right, I'm racist. Is, which well, which got yeah. Yeah. Like, are you Turkish? And they go Moroccan. And I go, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, that's very different. Yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I don't want to be in there walking in and go, so you're Kurdish, you're Turkish. And they're like, me then. And you're like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Right. And it's like, oh, if you say Kurdish and I know nothing about the kids and then go mm. right. I don't know what do you think know what comedian <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you ever heard of the K kids <laughs> what do you think of him yeah. I had to watch uh, some um, it was an Iran comedian uh, or a comedian from Iran uh, uh, um, an Iranian comedian not Omid not Omid not Omid sorry it's not Omid it's not Omid no, no. <laughs> or the, other, the other one. I just love the way you're saying that. Like, that's what's this Iranian comedian. I don't know. No, I didn't. I didn't want, no, so I went in. So basically, I had to have my hair cut because I'd 
shaved a big lump out the back of my yeah. head. Of course, yeah. Which I didn't understand that you could do. I was actually that day I was thinking, how do you make this get this wrong? But because I've got no hair, I just <laughs> been saying, I always used to go to Turkish barbers, which I loved, but mm. it's like twenty odd quid for this, and I'm going, there's yeah. not enough to do here. And they were making stuff up at the end. They were like just putting cotton wool in my ears and stuff. I was like, look, we're trying to make this last, but <laughs> it's not twenty quid's worth. Have they done the thing up your nose and they pulled the hair out? Yeah, I love yeah, that. they've done a bit. Yeah, nice. there's some amazing bits. Like, there's one he had floss and he was doing my yeah, cheeks. I was going, what the fuck's going on my yeah. cheek? That that I, when he, I, I had that. fire in my yeah. ears, wax yeah. up my nose. Right? I like the fire on. Yeah, the, I like the little bang in your ear with the fire. Yeah, yeah. but I went yeah, in did. and he had to basically give me a zero. And and a uh, fade, a little skin fade. Yeah, oh, Phil Ellis. Yeah, it nice. looks it looked better actually because because <laughs> I'm going. I think I sent you a picture of it, didn't I? I no, like, I think I saw you on the pod like with like the day after or something. Yeah, I was like, you what like, has gone on? Yeah, you need to do get rid of this. But you won't, um, you won't do it though. It's come a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, I've no. I went back and did it. But anyway, it's. Uh, but he made me. He went. He, went, uh, he said, "Oh, what you doing?" I made them. I don't know why I said I was a comedian. There's no one else in there, so I thought I'll just tell him the truth. I can't be bothered because no one go. I'm right, and what do you write? And I have to start making that yeah. up. So I was like, "A oh, comedian." I went. He's not going to be interested. And then he went. Oh, I love comedy. He said, and then he just started showing me this Iranian comedian. So I had to sit and watch this Iranian comic. <laughs> he's, I think, based in America. I don't know what is. I can't. I mean, it was awful. Because I didn't understand any of the references, so I was just watching it going. So right. it's in, in English, I assume. Yeah, right. and but he was going. <laughs> yeah, and then at the very end, yeah, so twenty. Yeah, I mean, it'd be weird if I'm there. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Put French yeah. subtitles. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the funny. And, like, and he's just going, "Am I right?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just no, waiting for the pause. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we've oh. all been there. Oh. <laughs> then I got off the bus, yeah. <laughs> and that was just yeah. my teacher. <laughs> I just sit there for ten minutes. Go, oh, oh, he's good, isn't he? And then at the end, he went, "Oh, they're the they're the secret police. That's why we all hate them." I went, "He could have told me that at the beginning because I don't know what the fuck he's been talking about for twenty minutes." But yeah, so I watched a bit of uh, a Reddy comic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ty, can I go home now? <laughs> you lost confidence in that story halfway through. That's another clip. Yeah. Fucking, I'm not doing well with the clips. I have to give me dick out. Do you think? <laughs> Do you think the Turkish barbers should charge you less? I think this. Or do you think... Oh, should... don't get him started. Well, I reckon they, like, they measure the size of your forehead, and yeah. then the longer it is, But then you're wasting the, the, the less time, though, isn't it? They should be, what? yeah. That's that, you, you're, I'm, not, I'm not kidding, like, the less hair you've got, the less yeah. you should pay. It's like sliding it's not, it's not, it's not, it's But it's sort of like... It's like, like the way fat people should pay more yeah, on yeah, airplanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just going to say, similar to that, isn't it? I don't like Because you always look really well-groomed. How often do you... Sometimes you can't help that much hair. Yeah. Once every couple of weeks. You go every couple of weeks. You say, yeah, that's the thing. Because like, you always look really like I'm, I'm tidy. I'm beautiful now. Nice. Like, mm, I tomorrow. mean, you are. I mean, not saying that you've trans. You've always been a beautiful man. But <laughs> recently, I mean, it's taken on to a new level. It's my wife, I think. <laughs> I think I was going to yeah, say, it's just is. like. You used yeah, to have like, I know you said something the other day, didn't you? About. Yeah. You've gone just well, like I went, short I went, and smart I went, to, I went pilgrimage in, right. in October. So when you finish that, you shave your head. Hence why. Was that a culture thing or like religious thing? a religious thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to Mecca in October. I saw you went. Yeah, yeah, it was great. They look, they look good. It was amazing. Like, Why? Like, I had loads of questions. <laughs> Why? Okay, <laughs> 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 David Frost over here. <laughs> I had loads of, I had loads of questions. That like, wasn't the question I was expecting. <laughs> Why is it all in? Just, just, just going, just going. <laughs> 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 Do you not know why? So what, what's the right? Why did I go? Why am I Muslim? <laughs> why was it good? All like, inclusive. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> what's your <Right>. problem? <laughs> yeah. Come here, pray as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, please tell me you know, like it's it, all Muslims are meant to go to Mecca once in their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sound. That's something you've heard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Heard of it. Just, yeah. 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 Year nine, year nine, or he's kicking yeah. back in this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You go, yeah, but then don't you go to Lourdes for like Catholics or like Lourdes? Lourdes. 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 How would you pronounce Lourdes. that? Lourdes. 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 You're not meant to go if you're Catholic. It's just a, it's a place where a miracle happens. So. Right, okay. It's one of the things. What? what happened there? <sighs> I, I can't. I, I can't tell you. Okay. It's the statue. I, Everyone goes to the Lord, the big Lord statue. The no, it's someone saw the Mary woman. Mary yeah. on the but hill. It's, the, the, water, it's, it's oh. the water, isn't it? And you go and you dip in the water and Lords and then... I couldn't think of anything funny someone, to say where it's where a miracle there was happened. A, there I was a cripple who was, could walk miracle. again after being in the Lord's water. And someone saw
I'm a, well, I don't know. I'm not in God. I'm a believer in something. Himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you believe in then? What do I believe in? Yeah. I'm I believe. <laughs> I'm not. I believe there's. I, I believe there's a something there. There's a spirit that connects us all. I think we're all connected in some way yeah. through something. But I, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in. God made man in his image. I don't believe in that. Well, I hope not. Well, <laughs> exactly. That's why. Right. There's a few Stop gods out far yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even going with this anymore. Well, a couple this going around right. I can think of, right? Yeah, yeah, we all know. <laughs> they look good in the garden next to a fountain. As opposed to this. <laughs> no, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> what do you believe in, Phil? Besides saving every I believe, penny? I, I, no, well, I believe in that. I believe in being frugal. I mean, times are hard, don't all right, Captain Tory over there. The uh, I believe in looking um, after your loved ones, and uh, and I believe in aliens <laughs> <laughs> and the Lizard King. Right. I don't know, really. Don't. Uh, you, know, you know, you visited Mecca. Mm. Was that anything to do with the marriage, or was that was in like? Yes, because I promised my missus had never been. I've been before. Oh, you already, yeah. Yeah. So there's when you go to Mecca, there's the thing that you're talking about once <coughs> in a lifetime. Yeah. That's only a certain time of the year. Right. So you can only that once in a lifetime thing you can only do at a specific time of the year. But you can right. go otherwise. Right. Off peak. Eighteen to right. thirty. Yeah, eight, <laughs> yeah, off, off, it's, it's good. Off peak. It's not as it's not as busy. Oh, so yeah. it doesn't so if you go it doesn't ca- oh, oh it doesn't count as your once in a lifetime if really? you go. But then you'd only go if you can afford to go in the once in a lifetime. How much? Oh, right. The so once in a lifetime thing is a specific time of the year where you do specific rites and passages. And that's the once in a lifetime thing. But you can go at any other time of the can year. You be and it's, like, it's, still, going. it's still a pilgrimage, and, but it's not the pilgrimage. Right. right. It's okay. a pilgrimage. Is it a specific time for you or for everyone in general that it's got to be within this? It's a specific time for you in that when you can afford to go and you're able to go. Right, yeah, yeah. But also when you have to go at that time of the year, though. Right. How, yeah, how much is it, though? There. What time of the year is it? Um, it's so a the money, Muslim calendar is spinner, ten, it? The Muslim calendar is 10 days shorter than the. Solar calendar, yeah. so it goes back ten days every year. Right. So right now it's like July. Yeah, is that way Ramadan's always a different time? Yes, but it goes it goes ten days back every year. Yeah. Oh, so so can you dive all the time there. which it is? Um when you go off peak, which which is what we did this time, you can probably go for about fifteen hundred each. Oh so if you talking. go during when you Hajj, which is the pilgrimage. Where are you paying? For Flights and hotels. Flights, hotels, transfers. Uh, you, when you get to Mecca, you don't like when. Why is bingo? The, so what gen- is Mecca? So, gen- so generally, you'd go on a tour. Yeah. So a tour group would be like looking after you, telling you yeah. where to go, telling you how to pray, yeah. getting you from A to B, looking after your transfers. You go from Mecca to Medina, which is where yeah. the Prophet migrated to, and he got chased out of yeah. Mecca. So you go there as well to pay homage to the Prophet and see the Prophet's mosque and where he's buried, and then you fly home. Right. So what and are you looking at to go on five, peak? Five, five bags plus Four. a person. Yeah, it didn't used to be like that, obviously, but back in the day, then you'd have to make your own way there. Are right? you expected to save for this? Like, sh- should you... Like- yeah, all, but, but not like... But not to go, like, if you need food and water. To, like, yeah, right. We live in slightly different times now, but, you know, back in the day when mm. people would have to go on foot, like, from wherever you are mm. in the world, mm. and, like, often they said goodbye to their families because they're like, am I not... Because it was an actual journey, right? Yeah. And like, and they might have to set off six months beforehand because you're like, I've got to go on horseback to Mecca from like India or whatever. So, so it was. You, whereas now you can go on the on the plane in. Yeah, you, reckon six you could hours. do it virtually. Will that be counted? Zoom. In the future, do you think no. they'll go? Well, no, but you know what though. Monster. But you know what though. <laughs> but you know what though. Like, yeah, get that way. Were, you know what though. There were. Oh my god! So, so what you meant to do? You meant to, so you, you, you've probably seen it on telly, the big black box. Well, that's and, what I didn't you, know what it was. You, but so you, yeah, that's like so you should not so that's outside. So that's what we pray to. Right. That is what we pray. That is like the center so that's of the Islamic everything. world. Yeah. So we so pray, even when you pray here, you yeah, pray. Yeah, we pray. We pray in the direction. But I know you're praying the direction. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. yeah. And so when you get to part of the pilgrimage, right, is you walk round. You walk around it seven times. Yeah. And but like when you look at the like balconies and stuff, you get <laughs> there's people in mobility scooters just scooting around. <laughs> Hit <laughs> <laughs> your ride with it, <laughs> and you're like walking around, and you're so busy, and you're like, yeah. you know, holding on to my missus, fighting yeah. through the crowd, making sure she doesn't get lost yeah. and not too uncomfortable and stuff. And then <laughs> you look up, so a fast just, lane. <laughs> someone's just busy around on a mobility school, and you're like, the hell? There'll be voice scooters there next it's year. So just how like, how, so how big <laughs> is the big black box? Um, I mean, 
dimensions wise, like five meters high, five meters wide. It's like a squ- like a. S- and you have to walk around that seven times. Yeah, like which, is, which is like it would take if there was no one there, it would take like two and a half minutes. But it's so busy. Yeah. It takes like oh. forty five minutes because you're like what for one? If the queue, no, no, it's like to do the whole seven. Do you have people yeah, yeah, yeah. like with the the trolleys or the flashing light light ones and and hats and things? You know what you're doing when you go to see the illuminations. I just thought it was a really good place to earn some money. I'd yeah. be there going, do you want to buy some uh, for the kids? Outside, 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 outside of it, yeah. Yeah. Outside of it but of not like in the actual MOS bit, no. Right. But they're, outside but of it, they're selling all sorts of knickknacks. <coughs> I was going to say, is it like, because it lords is that <coughs> knickknack. There's loads of that, yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. a big queue, Got to bring there? back the water. There's yeah, a queue, yeah, yeah, but yeah. also there's like, like a moving queue, because you're all, everyone's side of sort of walking around. Right. But some people, but everyone's walking at their own pace. You know, they're walking around. And some people are like rushing, and so you constantly get people barging past you. And then some people are working really slowly, so you got kind of like, I'm, I'm so, I've never been more British in my life right. yeah, yeah. than when I go to Mecca. Can't you stay on the I'm edge like, and go around? Excuse me, excuse me. There's a queue. Yeah, he's caught in. He's caught in. Can't you stay on the edge of them? So obviously someone's got to be like, yeah, you can, you can. But then you're That's like, right. have you got to be a certain then, dynamiter then, from the box? Yeah. No, no, no. As long as you're walking around and you can see it and stuff. But like, Phil wouldn't pay to get in. Just walk around the outside. No, I would not. It took me three hours when I walked around the whole of the bus. Phil tunneling in. It's only pilgrimage. But it is amazing though. Like when you like when you grow up in the culture and the faith and yeah. your entire life is devoted to this thing yeah. and then you see it for the first time, it is like an overwhelming ecstasy of emotion. Like it is crazy. You've like been before. My though. wife felt it. Because I'd I'd been before, mm. so I didn't feel it as much when I saw it again. But my wife felt it. It's actually broke down in tears. Like it is the thing where you like you see grown men and women breaking down because the first time they see it and they're like, I'm in front of God, like yeah. Forgive me for my sins, whatever they are. Big it's incredible, that, like. it is incredible. I bet it is. You were the same when you got your first benefit check, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Built into your culture in Liverpool. I was going to say it was the first. Yeah, sorry. The I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I was going to say it was like the first time I went to Champions League final or something, but you know. I know. I you went horrible. I know. I went horrible. My apologies. Um, <laughs> It's not sorry at all. Oh, but I don't, it's not. Like, it's, he's definitely I, poorer than me as well. Yeah. But do you find it sad that, like, because I haven't got anything in my life like that that I, I do would find it love sad, yeah. to do? I do find that. <laughs> it's quite sad, yeah. <laughs> Bit rude. To, to be honest, Phil, we find you very sad <laughs> quite often. No, go on. Being around but you makes me sad. <laughs> do you not find it sad? That, I mean, I don't have something like I would go. Oh, I've done that now. This is an mm. amazing, you know, a beautiful thing you can share, like with your wife mm. and with family. But I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I kind of wish that it's, it sounds like that. I go, I wish I did have faith. Well, that's what something happened. Something more like Alan Finningham on it. So Alan, Alan Finningham, you know, he's a Baptist minister who does comedy. And uh, you, you, he was on Britain's Got Talent and stuff. You might not know him, but like he, he, he gigs a bit, not yeah. so much anymore. A lot of church gigs and stuff now. He's been on the pod a few times. What were they called? Um, Celebrants. We're yeah, now celebrants on this yeah, not comedy yeah. podcast. We're not comedians. Now. We're all going into celebrants. We'll explain that in a minute. I do funerals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain that in a minute. But there's money yeah. to be made. Um, up with this fucking comedy club nonsense. Yeah. So funerals and Alan, what Phil's saying about having not having anything. That was the way Alan got into faith. So he was dating a girl who was religious. Went to church with her. Bus, bus. And was just looking how they have. So I, like he just he just found it amazing faith. Like, how have they got so much confidence, so much belief in this one thing, and he just wanted that? I was, I was, I was, I was with drew, the missus in the, in, in, in the lakes a couple of weeks ago, and there's, there's a nice little village, I'm just walking around, there's a church there and thing, and I think it was Sunday, and we think, should we just go in and see? Because I just want to see, I just want to do a head count, and see, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and see how many people are in there. And then, because yeah. we were talking about, like, how, and obviously then the, then the census was released, like, a week mm. later, just, as we were talking about it, and it was saying, like, now I think non-denomination is, like, now the biggest... Faith, yeah. even though it's non faith, right. now in the in the UK, <coughs> and I was like, I don't know, I just find it quite. I reckon that's people, probably people, even people believe what they want to believe or, or not or whatever. But I just find it a little bit sad that like right. Christianity has got such a diminishing role in public life, or just in general in private life as well. But you worry, people just don't believe anymore. But you worry though that that'll happen to like the Asian community in Britain. Or is Maybe it, happening? it would take a few. Do you genera- see it happening? I don't see it happening anytime soon. It might be a few generations, but like. Mm. I think minority groups are quite good at holding on to because there's a sort of siege mentality that comes yeah. with being a minority as well. Yeah. Like Scousers have it. Yeah. And so I think we'll hold on to that until you until we stop seeing a lot of prejudice, which hopefully will never end. So we'll, <laughs> as long as prejudice keeps going. Yeah. Strong you're on the right pod for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it alive, eh, lads? <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever see it amongst your peers, just don't stop it. Would you, just so be like, yeah. oh, go on, yeah, yeah. Would you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't have any yeah, yeah. Queen yeah. Gigs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't get me in the film, but go on, carry on. Yeah. I, would would, would you it, ever go to church just, just to see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As an observer, I'd love, to, I'd love to go to Mecca, but I, I'm not allowed. But, yeah, you're not. Like, yeah. so if you, if you were in Rome, would you go to Vatican? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I would. I, 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 I find, to go I, to find I find religion and I find religious culture and the sort of architecture and all of mm. that stuff fascinating. I love all of it. Like, yeah, whatever, um, whatever it is. We can't go to it. Mecca. You're not no, allowed. I'm not allowed no. Oh. Go to another mosque though, if you want. Like, as you convert, chest, chest, how can I? How can well, I possibly get to Mecca? If you, if you convert, convert to Islam, right? Okay. Where is Mecca? Saudi Arabia. Right. So, do you fly to Saudi Arabia and then? Yeah. When's it? When's the sort of like? So there's a bound. When's like a boundary? So, yeah. So, so there's a like boundary the, where the Vatican's its own yeah, place. Yeah. Mecca's so, its own place. So, so the 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 Haram Sharif, which is the mosque. Yeah. Then there's a bigger boundary, mm. and I can't remember exactly the size. It's like twenty odd miles. Yeah. From Radius or whatever it might be bigger, might be smaller, uh, but f- within that vicinity, technically non-Muslims should not be allowed. Mm-hmm. Has anyone ever gone in there Probably. as a non-Muslim? Probably, <laughs> of course they have. Well, like they <laughs> <laughs> they they have the but I think also, but I also think that's more <laughs> recent. I think it's since the Saudis became in charge that that law was physically implemented. I think like seven hundred years ago, it's probably more relaxed. Yeah. But also, like when you're there, you're like, yeah, it's not a holiday. You can't have a German German tourist in shorts going, yeah, that's good because yeah. there's no space. <laughs> there's yeah. no space for it. Like, yeah. And I bet you don't feel rested not a, after. Like yeah, bas- no, you need a holiday after that. If you're yeah, the Vatican, yeah, they try and tell you it's not. It, it's it's not meant to be like touristy, but just yeah. Is. I'd love to go to the Vatican. Well, like, I will hopefully like, like, if, if if I go wrong. Sixteen chapels like and that. Then when taking Rome, pictures, even you're not meant to. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah I was taking a few snide under the tombs when I went to the Vatican. Yeah, no yeah. photos. Oh, yeah, so I mean, no photos like that. The sixteen Take channel. A little photos, photos, little tomb there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Then imagine having our attitude. In I haven't done anything with it. <laughs> no, no, yeah. You're not even posting it. No. Scared. No. Scared. scared. scared what happened? I'm scared. Scared. Gotta live in the moment, say. Just enjoy the moment through your eyes, mate. Nah. The churches are incredible. Like to go. Like I like. It was a similar thing, kind of like in the in the countryside. And if you see a little church and you go mm. in, they are empty, but they are amazing. They are scary. Yeah, 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 but then that's that's one of, that's one of the things that makes me turns me off religion. You seen all the marble and yeah. all like oh, how wonderful, and you think this is so ex- everything here is so yeah. expensive. Yeah, it's a fair point. Yeah, like, that's I've not but been then, to the mosque. But I don't know what the mosque is the same. But I used to go to Jehovah's Witnesses. I used to go yeah. to the Kingdom Hall when I was a kid. Is that your family? Yeah. Yeah. No, not really. Well, my dad. Is not no, his dad just told him you were Jehovah's Witnesses not to buy him beer. Jehovah's Witnesses, right? I just thought it was some guy called Joe Witness. I just thought it was some guy called Joe Witness. Then I was like, who's Joe Witnesses? It's November, we're back to being Jehovah's. He's off to Joe Witnesses. Who's is that? We just thought he got money for being like Witness. You know, I thought he used to get like 40 quid a day. Just a garage, that's what he was. But their thing is that it's that's part of the thing is that, like, um, you're not meant to pray to an idol or any kind of so any kind of flamboyant <coughs> kind of decoration. Yeah. So that's why it's always in like just looks like you're, a, you know, an AA yeah, meeting, well, well, just mm, an empty hall. At the end of like the end of my no sort of coming out of the religion, I started going to Baptist church. Mm. But they they had that nothing fancy. There, it was like just like you're in a community centre. Well, I've always mm. been to differentiate in my head though between what the religion is, God, mm. Muhammad, peace be upon him, and all that, and the evils and excesses of people. Yeah, I've always mm. been able to make that differentiation in my head. No, I, I can, yeah, that's what I mean. I, I completely do it when I'm when I'm there. But then, part of me is a bit like I think that's what pulls me away from it. Yeah, because I mean, like this has been taken over by human error or human like, e- or, or human I, I get it. Like zealots, like if uh, zealots in any cause, whether it's politics, religion, or whatever, just turns you off things, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So zealot, I think I know, but what is it? Like someone who's Overly into a thing, like like to the point where they like overzealous. Per, per, yes, there you go. Well done. There you go. Use that in a sentence correctly. Good lad. Thank you. Well done, Ty. Hey, well done. That's one, mate. See, not just a pretty face. Decent. So, how long were you Jehovah for then? Look at you looking at the camera. <laughs> well, I wasn't really a Jehovah. I went to the the Kingdom Halls and that, but the the hymns were so fucking boring. <laughs> they go on for ages. Mm. They, they, so I, I used to love belting hymns out as a kid because oh. I'm church of school. Oh, but there's no rhythm to like, they're, not like, that. they're not like they're not like the uh, from the tiny <laughs> ant from the tiny ant to yeah, the yeah. elephant. Not like that. They're just like <laughs> and then he came to the thing and we like the nothing. He says and it goes on for on, I'm not even making it, it goes on about ten minutes of him and it was just it's painful long, and I was like yeah, I'm done, I'm done. I can't. I don't care if this means I go nowhere. 
Can't stand Have you got any, like religious people in your family, like like direct? Family? Oh yeah, my my grandma was full on. Yeah, that generation like, tend tend to be full so on many them, ways. Yeah. She used to do like <laughs> <laughs> she used to be like Oof, the person give rosary beads. Insatiable, that stuff. woman. Couple <laughs> 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 of martinis. <laughs> You'd be religious after that. <laughs> <laughs> Turn any man to God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Cup run yeah. over with that one. Yeah, no, um, I had a, f- uh, a few, but then it just dwindled away, really, I think. Yeah. Because they died or lost faith? I think it's just the effort of going to church, like mm. the Sunday thing. And all. Some of them still do go to church and that, but then it's a bit more like, ah, oh, we kind of get it now. Life's busier now, isn't it? So like Sunday's, it, Sunday's a big yeah, day for yeah, like doing yeah. shit now. Yeah, Family day, Sunday innit? used to be yeah. shut, whereas everywhere's open yeah, still yeah, Sunday, yeah. so it's kind of like... Foot, and you've got footy now, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah like, well, Sunday's become point, Family Day, maybe that, people. I didn't think about that. Maybe that is why numbers are dwindling, because it literally was the only thing to do. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's now Go church, see if there's any tings there in the congregation. I always found it a bit sad that Sunday still stays open now because it means people have to work when normally they get a yeah. compulsory day off and I think right. more for that. But I when the when it was the Queen's funeral and I couldn't go and get some shopping from Tesco, I was furious. <laughs> I was fucking livid. Why could you not go and get shopping? Because they shut, shut it down so we could enjoy the funeral. Shut down. Remember, remember all the gigs got cancelled? Yeah. Gigs got cancelled. You don't get that was from rap promoters. That's rap promoters pulling them. You put one on. Depends where you are. Yeah, we did. No, hot water. Rowan friends put Rowan friends put one on. Hot water. Hot water put on extra nights just to fuck the queen. Fuck the royal family. We'll put more gigs on. God. And they never. You done one of them, didn't you? And you were like, "What is the point?" Yeah, that was it. We just we felt like we've put this gig on just to spite. Like we don't need this gig. There's only like 20 of us in the studio room at Hot Water. I was like, it's like we didn't really need this gig, but they've just said put it on. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like fuck it, yeah. Um, Ro- I did row and friends. There was a hundred people in that room. Just day the queen. You're in England fuck get knocked it. out of the footy. Are you lot not asked? Never. I'm not. I I didn't watch one England game. This, this I didn't. World Cup. I was, you don't like football, though, do you? So these two aren't really into footy. All right. I'm obviously very into footy, and I just. I, I was all in on Messi though, as you know. Scouts not English, aren't they? I, yeah. was, it, I was saying you though about Messi winning that. Oh, oh yeah, he's fuming about it. Why? It's just a perfect career, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's the lovely. only good side is that Ronaldo will be like fuming. fucking losing his yeah, head. Yeah. Ronaldo's gonna have a breakdown now. Yeah, because he can't play in the next one because yeah. it's in America. And ev- and everyone's <laughs> gonna be. Was he? Has he got a record? He's not allowed to go to America, is he? Oh, isn't he? No, why is he? Because of his charge. Done some bad things, has he? Yeah, allegedly. That's allegedly. Like the Kings. allegedly. They couldn't tour America. <laughs> right, it's it's, it's it's a similar thing. It's because of a king. Um, also, it'll be, king? also, it'll be forty-one. Yeah, yeah. What but was the king? That, that, well, he's meant to be sexually assaulted someone in America, hasn't he? So he's not allowed to go. He's not allowed to go back. So he goes back. He has to go to trial. Oh, like um, I always get. I always get Coppola. It's not Coppola. Roman Polanski. Yeah. Is it, is Shit, have you seen that? You know Roman Polanski. Yeah, yeah. The, the, pe- the pianist. Yeah, director, he's like an amazing director. <laughs> the pianist. <laughs> yeah. The chat. Yeah. Chi- the Chinatown. The, uh, some amazing films, but he sexually assaulted a girl when she was 13. Right. And so he fled the country. I mean, it's, it's not been oh, done to trial, yeah. but he definitely... Oh, allegedly. I mean, he, no, he, John I mean clearly. I mean, so he fled to, to France, mm. where they've been looking after him for many years now. And then he got nominated for an Oscar for The Pianist. Like, everyone forgot. And so they allowed him... The American government went, you can come in to get your Oscar. We're not going to do anything. <laughs> and then he left again. Yeah, and then it's incredible. And then he that left again with his goodness. Oscar. That is incredible, isn't it? But what's really funny is at the awards, Steve Martin was hosting but, it. But no one knew about Hollywood. No one knew. No, but the, no, everyone knew. The whole world yeah, no. knew because it happened in the 60s. In Jack saying, Nicholson's like, house, it happened when Angelica Houston was in the house. Right. If, you can read up on it. It's awful. But um, anyway, so that he's at the Oscars and he's sat there and everyone's like, oh, we won't mention the whole thing. And then Steve Martin's hosting it and he goes, well, it's nice to have everyone here. We've got such. We goes, we've got Rowan Polanski, and he just goes, "Quick, get him!" <laughs> right, which is really funny. Right? Of that. <laughs> and then everyone just goes, "Oh, and it is funny." But then yeah. you go, "Oh no, but he's still there." No, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. fine. <laughs> There's your Oscars. No, I, I've been invested in so. Messi's career though for like twenty years, like since the Who's beginning. Messi. So I, I was so happy. This is who right. does he play? This is one of the things outside of well, that I, uh, immig- immigrant name. privilege. He's pierced. Is it you know? where you you are allowed to support many football teams? I'm 
we can't say anything because it seems racist. No, I support, so like, I support, so like, I support Blackburn like, Rovers. Yeah, but that's fair. And England. That's fair, but like Eshan Sports United. That's bullshit. And I can't say bullshit Southerner because he'll be like, oh, I'm actually... No, that's bullshit. And but I call him out on that. And like, same as Kev. Yeah, you can call him out. I can't. We then, did call him out on the podcast. We did call him out, yeah, last time he was here. Yeah, I called him out not going the game. No, I had to, I had to be very specific about it. Couldn't be like, you Southern cunt. Yeah, call him a Southern cunt. All right, I will do. What are you scared But do you think bro? it's immigrant privilege that you... They'd be like... Because you get a lot of immigrants going, go, well, we dad no history with yeah, them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, or, like, or like specifically because of the... Like, the I, like I have friends who support Germany in football. Right. For no reason. I think because they beat England and they were like, ah, oh, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> they were a good team though, weren't they? That's part of it. Germans. Yeah, they weren't yeah. me to do shit. Went back, was it? <laughs> so you were... <laughs> 20, what would it take? Was it, I doing the World Cup, you mean? 1990, 96. It's a good team. It's They've always been good, team. though. Or there or thereabouts. I like the Germans. <laughs> I like the Germans. <laughs> you, said that like it was, you said that suddenly like you were programming. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. the Germans. <laughs> well, what's the accent? It's like, <laughs> it's ingrained in them. It's innate. It's no, innate. If anything, what the Germans. What do you call when they have those sort of like anything, the, the, they killed us? Like the trade spies. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Well, what's it called? <laughs> Kick it. Red Squirrel. Yeah. Yellow <laughs> Fox. Flips the table. Long kiss, good night time. The Winter Soldier, Simon wasn't here. <laughs> That's it. The Winter Soldier. So who are your teams? Blackburn, not not, not internationally, just Barcelona. domestically. Just Blackburn and Barcelona? Yeah. Right. Why are you so into Barcelona? I'll tell you why. It's a very boring story. But back in 1994, Sorry, we'll I'm old. Back in 1994, when I was 11, and I spotted Blackburn Rovers, and our main rivals were Man United, because they were the biggest yeah. two teams in the country, Man United went to the new camp to play in the Champions League, and they got hammered 4-0 by Barcelona. And since then, I thought, I fucking love this team. <laughs> I've done this to my main rivals. Because right. when you're a kid, you always think you're going to be good forever. Yeah. Uh, and so since then, I loved Barcelona. And they had Ronaldo, then they got Ronaldo, real Ronaldo. Right. And then Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, and then Messi, Gen- Javi, Iniesta, it's and that. It's been easy to support them since. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't believe quite and a lot of Messi's got heavily been going. invested into Messi's career. And then since that whole Ronaldo FC came along, yeah. I got, this is really sad, but I, got, I developed a bit of anxiety about it. <laughs> about Messi's career, like, like, because like, like, I know he's the best, but yeah. not everyone thinks that. Yeah. So I think I was projecting other things in my life onto this one thing. So do you think he's the I best need, ever? I need everyone to think he's also the best. <laughs> ever. So, yeah. so yeah. Just, it's a genuine thing. I've, ever. I've, 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 I've been, yeah, ever, ever. Right. And I think so the only penalty. other person in the conversation is Maradona. Yeah. Well, Maradona's think, always had the World Cup. Maradona's think, always I think, had the idea. I think, it's, I think he's he's also dragged the, Argentina. I think it's the Napoli thing as well. I think. Yeah, because he dragged Napoli to a title and dragged. Yeah, yeah, that is the one. That I think really that's the, I think that's the only one. And he's done it all on cocaine. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. You have to take down to a The more colourful character. So yeah. it's easier to be like, what a fucking lad. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Messi's been a, a pro. A little bit of tax yeah. evasion. A bit of tax evasion. Yeah, but then right everyone then. did that. Shakira's like yeah. yeah. going to prison for that. Yeah. So. Yeah. All like yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah. know, her hips don't lie, but her bank comes. Checks do, yeah. The 60s do. You saw his penalty. Football, go on. You right? saw his penalty. I saw his penalty. It was a shit penalty. It was rubbish. Wasn't yeah, it? Everyone was going, it was oh, what a great penalty. It was, really it was like, mate, it, it, it was the right it was way. Calm as it's fuck. Gone. It wasn't rubbish because it was waiting for the keeper to move and the keeper moved. And the keeper moved and then corrected himself. Yeah. It's a way what, yeah. See, sorry, it wasn't rubbish, of course, but it's but to, because it I was, was like, possibly the greatest penalty of all time. Well, it probably was because he went Every penalty that came in why is the greatest penalty of all time? Did he just go straight, pretty much straight down the middle? No, that was Dybala. Oh, that I was the ball it was, down it, was a, it was a long time no but ago, I think but also I mean, the idea it was quite central like. uh, the idea of the keeper that, going the, the like, wrong way yeah. is also that if it does go the right way there's still a chance of it going in then that's yeah. a good penalty that mm. was just he's just yeah, but he's, he's giving him the eye. I know, he's, he's keep us moved, and then just yeah. the way he nonchalantly <laughs> rolled it in is like, what? This is the fucking you know World Cup final. I, I was watching. I was mm. watching the match. I noticed that one of the keepers uh, did a good go, uh, a save. But then I've noticed this with a lot of keepers. They get really angry at the players. Mm. They don't yeah. just go, oh, I've saved yeah, the girl. They go, yeah, yeah. yeah fucking prick. Why'd you? And they're like, well, yeah. that is your job. Yeah, so but you can't sh- have a go at them. They shouldn't have had some... to in that, in that position. Well, then what? what in the perfect their way, whole job, their, their, their whole job is, I don't want to do my job. Exactly. Yeah. It's pathetic. Yeah. He's like the forklift driver I used to work with. Right. He died doing little. And then as soon as he said, I need a roll of fabric, he'd yeah. be off. He'd just be annoyed. That's a goalkeeper. Lazy pricks. Because yeah. then yeah. he saves a goal and he goes, well, that looks good. That's a good clip, that. And instead he gets angry. It's all machismo, like, going, oh, I'm so... Do you do? I reckon it's probably just built up They're tension round, and then once Frank. they save it, then they go, oh... But they've been running around for 90 minutes. He's just stood there. It's like when you These score a goal, gloves, though. It's like you've still well. got that... Ah. I love it when keepers celebrate after, like... You know, Emi Martinez, the, he's a fucking shit house. 
The goalkeeper can't yeah. celebrate, can they? When but they, they make do a save, they go, oh, no, 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 any 85 minutes yet, you've got to be perfect for now. This is that Tunisian guy when he tackled Ericsson. He like, yeah, he's fucking yeah, two-footed him yeah. and then just fucking ran like that into the yeah. crowd. It's fucking and then, awesome. And to Ericsson, he got up and went the half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Respected it. So, this World Cup, Qatar, is like, that the first Muslim country to host one? Yeah, first Arab did and it, Muslim country to host one. So. Did it feel different for you? Uh, I think it felt different in the coverage because there's a lot of like, fucking these, yeah, why, yeah, why yeah. are they giving it these? Yeah. And I'm like, it's going to America next. And then it's Russia. No one's going to give a fuck about that. Mm. I'm boycotting it then. When Thanks it goes so. to America? Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, I'd love to move You and Roman America. Polanski? Yeah, me and Roman Polanski. And Ronaldo. <laughs> Sit on the sofa. Awkward. <laughs> no, but did you like, was there more of a connection with it for you or not? No. I've always no. loved the World Cup. I've always been into yeah. it. Like, wherever it is, I'm like, that's the one thing that I'll always just watch because I'm like, football overrides. Do you reckon the coverage was a bit racist? I think it was borderline. I think because yeah. I think there were things that they talked about, which yeah, if you care about it, fair enough. But there were things that have happened in other countries. Well, that's what I mean, no one equally or worse that have never been mentioned. No before. one protested against Russia, and, and no one cares one. about it going to America next. Yeah, and they are the other number one bad cops in the world. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, we we said on this a couple of podcasts ago. Like, right, right. I think it borders on. It's just it's an easy target. It was borderline xenophobic. Definitely. It's an easy definitely. target. Like yeah, that's yeah. what it was. I mean, the, the the fact that they shouldn't have got it for like corruption and stuff that I get because mm. they haven't the country the size of fucking Cardiff so like mm. you can't host a World Cup in Cardiff mm. yeah so that I get but the rest of it I was like well they've got it now aren't it so I just mm. fucking carry on mm. and also it was a fucking cracking tournament it's it just was. it was in the winter so it was fuck with me fully like couldn't get behind it properly cause in the, the winter I just it was I was just all off yeah need to summer thing in it always has and then it was just, best I behaved just, tournament though ever. No English arrests arrest. for the first yeah. time ever. What was so that footage you saw of all the fight? That wasn't obviously there. What was that? That was in a fight? Falaraki <laughs> 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 on Twitter when yeah. Wales played England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out. I was like, where was that fight? Yeah. They weren't doing that there. Yeah, yeah. I know they weren't. Yeah. Yeah. That was no, so I did funny that. So Sharia, 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 put a great Sharia, brawl Sharia Law won, English Law nil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, did you see? Um, if it works, it works. <laughs> have you had, have you had that? Uh, does a what does a WhatsApp text going around, going um, first time ever, guitar first time ever, no English arrests, no arrests for hooliganism, drunkenness, and then just goes to prove it was all a gay's fault and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the, it was all God. a gay's fault. My God, allegedly, well, allegedly. <laughs> this podcast sponsored by Coca Cola. <laughs> I'm just the, saying uh, it's a WhatsApp podcast. joke going around. What is quite funny? Yeah, not around my WhatsApps. The, Isn't what, it? No, no. What the? Comfort, I've not been, comfort, comfort I've not been forwarded that. <laughs> my my <laughs> my WhatsApp. The nicest part. I've not been forwarded that either. Well, I have, and yeah. I just think I'm glad my WhatsApps. And, and I like the problem. And I'm how many people did you send it on to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a few more groups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just got to highlight the. You're just highlighting it, you know, highlighting the issue. Highlighting the issue through yeah. humor. Highlighting the issue through humor with the words ruffle through subversive satirical humor. Exactly. Yeah. It's not my fault. You're, groups. Uh, you know, you know. I don't think you are. You know. Oh, you're on WhatsApp, one. right? A family one. No, the Ellis's. Family. No, no. They're my family. Well, there's only four of us, <laughs> and one's got a Nokia, one's not got a phone, and the other one's <laughs> my mum. So basically, I just be right. texting my mum. So what? What's the one <laughs> yeah. WhatsApp group you're in? Um, the comfy cuddlers. The com- the, the the charity. Uh, the charity do gooders. Right. Just go around helping people. Oh, um. There's one I do for, uh, go do oh, a lot Phil's of charity, charity work. work yeah, oh, uh, called uh, uh, Philanthropist. Tramp yeah. Time. Help out all the tramps. <laughs> go around, give them soup. Phil goes to the food bank oh, and tramps. takes his tea home. I bought a homeless man a double cheeseburger and a mayo chicken um, on Saturday. Really? Good? Yeah, because he, he asked me, he said, have you got any money for so, some warm food? And I was going into Mackey's and I said, I'll get you a burger. And I got him a... <coughs> Double. That's nice. I with the on, relish on as well. I was on, I was on Edgeware Road once in London, and similarly, someone asked me. Can we just for, not scare over my act of generosity <laughs> then? <laughs> no, someone asked me for. Can we sit in, someone, I sit in Simon right. Virtue yeah. for a minute? Sorry, please. go on, Simon. Yeah. Finish your story. Triple yeah. finish, your sto- finish your story. Finish your story. Sorry, yeah. I didn't realize this wasn't mock the week. Go on, finish your story. <laughs> So, what did, my did, he ask, <laughs> did he ask for them things or did you just buy them no things? I just I just got them I thought you, you can't go wrong with that so you didn't just what, say to him what you want no you thought what would I want in that situation 
I panicked. Why did you just ask him what he wanted? Because I was I just bet panicked. He hated gherkins. Because he's just, homeless, doesn't mean he likes any. So you said to him, what some cut in there, some cut literally saw this box that was like empty or something with like a couple of buns. He went, Oh my god, and give it to that homeless man outside. That's a cunt move. I know. Yeah, how can you still with Phil at the time? Hey, what? <laughs> oh, mate, you should have seen the way he was scrambling around the frog green room looking oh, for food. Yeah. Oh, it was appalling. I was not. Come in like Adrian Brody. I told you this, did I? Come in like Adrian Brody. And that was a good show as well. Because <laughs> you should have seen the way he's eating. He was eating like this. He got a roast dinner free. Wasn't, wasn't on the bill, by the wasn't way. Wasn't on the bill. Turns off. Oh, shit. Yeah. Gets no, a roast right, dinner no. in a box. Has it there. And he eats it. Stood up with one leg in front of the other like this. <laughs> like, he stood ready to go. And then he picks up all the crisps. And I swear to God, he's, he's, he's eating them like this. Like clumps I like was hungry, and right? shaking like he hasn't eaten <laughs> for weeks. Shaking. Yeah, you dropped it all. Hungry you in dropped a rush. it all on the floor. This when was, was this? A, this was a couple of weeks ago. I went into the front was, to what see was, What was the gig you were supposed to be doing? I was at a gig. Where did I come from? I've been I have no idea. And I thought, I'll go and see my friend Simon, and, I'll, and I might as well have a, a dinner on the way. So I ordered a dinner. On the way? It was at the place. Okay, well, then I ate a dinner You came there. for that dinner. You know you did. And then I had a, a you couple had of crisps. You had Simon there and went, I've got something green yeah. to talk to. I'll go and get a free dinner. I don't dinner need Simon there. And then he scumbag Askins. I'll get in you there. I'll find him. a way <laughs> when, I saw when he scumbag Askins as well. What's he's bringing a friend. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that was... He's fucking got... He's... So I hate it when you go to a pet hate, like when you go and meet a friend and then like without even telling you like maybe an hour in, other friends arrive and they go, oh, unannounced yeah. friends. And they've not even said they're inviting other people. Right. They he just did turn that. up and they go, oh, and you go, oh, what the fuck is that? I'm not agreed to meet. Yeah, the 20 minute rant meet. about this last time he was on the podcast. Yeah, right. Now this didn't happen. So I had done a gig and I was meeting Andy Askins for a drink after because I, I like Andy a lot. It'd be nice to hang out, catch mm -hmm. up. Now, as I was leaving my gig to go and meet him, two old friends of mine turned up as a surprise because they'd been in town and knew I was gigging there to go, hey, let's, thought we'd surprise you for a drink. But I said, well, I'm going to see, and I tried to put them off. I went, I'm going to go and see my friend Andy. I said, all the way over the other side of town. They were like, yeah, okay. And then I left them outside for ages thinking they'd just end up having to leave and they didn't. So then they had to come with us. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just talk to Andy because I kind of, Feel bad about that, but then Andy started to feel bad because he's because you, nice you're guy, ignoring nice the people I was sitting there, and yeah. he didn't want to be rude to my friends. But I was trying to be as rude as possible to my friends to get rid of them, whereas he was trying to be really nice. So it just created a really awful tension for the whole. Next time you see Andy, he's gonna, they're going to be with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they probably will. And then he, he he told you how awful it was. He didn't. He said it was fine. He felt. Oh, that's felt, awful. Yeah, he that's felt, worse. Yeah, he I'm really felt. Good oh. That's worse. That. Oh, you been you been fight with Phil? How was it? Fine. Oh, oh well, I can't remember. But he oh. felt like he wanted to include everyone, and you weren't including everyone. No, because I was tr I was trying to get rid of him to make him feel better. Mm. You could have just said, and and I've got to speak to Andy about something. Well, that would have been worse. But yeah, maybe. I mean, it all oh. went horribly wrong. It was terribly handled. But they uh, eventually they left and we're still friends. We're all friends. But then me and Andy had a lot of nice time afterwards together. It was just <laughs> that first hour of awkwardness as I tried to treat my friends like shit in front of him. <laughs> I hope they're listening. Um, they will. Jack Mintz probably will be. No. no. Don't I don't like raisins. Them. No. In general. No, no one does. I ate them as well. Although I, got, I like them. I got the Waitrose ones and they were much better, but they've all gone now. I don't like mini ones. They were raisins on. No, I don't like them either. I hate mince pies. I find them very difficult to eat. I just don't know what's in mints. I don't know what it is. He's mistrusted of the mints. Right, it's the white bits. I don't know what. Well, I could do, but raisins or something. I'd rather just. What's your opinion on unannounced friends? Um, I think it depends what you're catching up with the person for. If it's like a serious, dead serious convo. And then the people are there. But if it's just like a nice, general, laid-back catch-up, and other people are there, then I'm not. But what about if you go, I want this to be a dead deep one, but I'm not going to make it look like it's going to be a deep oh, yeah, one. Then it's annoying, yeah. Yeah. So you've gone, ah, I wanted this to go deep, and then it's, it's, it's annoying deeper. if your friends' friends are like, kind of like, oh, it's you. That's that's mm. shit. Oh, we don't we, we don't have that. No, we don't no. have that. Some of, some of us have that. I so don't. Yeah. When it's, when it's, when <laughs> I'd that, love that. When it's yeah, that, it's yeah, awkward. Yeah. Oh, I'd like if they're just like, yeah, normal. Ugh. Right, okay. I want that. How yeah. much of that do you get? Not loads, but it happens occasionally. Oh. Really? So people be like, I'm mates, and like, oh, it fucking happened at the solicitors the other day, and I've gone in because <laughs> I'm like in the process of maybe like you know getting a house or whatever. And I rang the guy. Oh, I that was a question up, I wanted to ask you. Go on, carry on. I'd like to pick up some paperwork, and so the guy goes, Yeah, come into the office. 
and I've parked my car, and then the windows, like they're on the first floor of some building like this where it's shared offices yeah. and stuff. And so the windows cracked open, and a couple of like young, they must have been in like early to mid 20s, I've stuck there, like going, oi, oi, like this. And I'm like, Papi. Because in my head, I'm like, they're the only people that know I'm coming here. And if yeah. it's them, a solicitor's office, that is like <laughs> dead. That's a dead <laughs> weird thing to do. Yeah. So I've gone uh, into the yeah. building yeah. and like, and then I've gone into the office and it is them and they're all like beaming and they're coming. And I'm like, that's fucking odd behavior. That. Like I've come to a solicitor's, like it could be here for a divorce or something. Like <laughs> you're not fucking announcing to the car park. Like, hey, hey, yeah. this guy's here. I got recognized. So I was really fucking once. pissed off about it. And then, they, then it came across rude. Right. So they got yeah. you back up straight but, away. But I'm it? like, but. But you were being dead. It's a solicitor's office. It's not like some marketing agency. Yeah. Did they say you've got to sign this? And you're like, oh, who should I make it out to? And they're like, no, it's like, no, it's really yeah. yeah. <laughs> HMRC. Yeah. Yeah. Can you take the kisses off? It's now defunct. <laughs> I'm sorry. I fell out with my, I fell out with my solicitors when I was buying a house. I got a problem with them because they asked too many questions. Oh, they're a nightmare. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are fucking nosy. Yeah, because you go and sit in the office. And you're like, th- like going, so where's your money come from? Like, what the fuck's it got to do with you? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, no, where's, like, where's your money? Co- like, how have you got this money? Like, how's anyone get money? Yeah. Like, where do you think come from? And they're like, have you been saving? Has someone gifted you there? Like, where's the money come And they're like, what the fuck is it got to, to do like, with mon- you? And you have to sign like money laundering forms. Yeah, yeah. Them. And it winds you because like, you just, you calling me a drug dealer? Because well, yeah. they, yeah. they were saying like, can you prove this money? And I was like, how? Did that, what well, told me to surely play? that means that means it's they because it, like you say money laundering and that so they have to go well just so that isn't yeah that's what they're saying so that's to why me. they're asking oh you. it's not it's it, it's just in case it's money laundering it's like well what do you want me to do how do I prove to you it's not money laundering bank, they're showing them bank statements I think. yeah yeah just yeah. the flow of just how show, show them the flow the of money <laughs> a legal <laughs> flow of money <laughs> if you turn up the suitcase full of cash yeah. they're gonna be like yeah. well cool. the thing was where did that come from yeah. the You've problem got, was they, <laughs> they were I saying I thought you're gonna be like they're going so uh What's the ideal woman? <laughs> <Some weird stuff. laughs> no, just kept asking me about money, and who's it was gonna, me Who's going to live there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah to be honest, just going to die you first got, and you got, like, Where can you prove the money's not like ill-gotten? It's like, why does that matter? You know, that's what I was like. It's like literally I be the biggest thing you buy, and it's such a large amount of money. Yeah, yeah. but they that's said, how money laundering works. Do you know how they asked you to prove? Like you said, they want you to prove it. He said, "Shows your bank account with that much money in it." Like, all right, there you go. Yeah, but that's what they've got to do. Yeah, but that's literally it, though. But I, so I, I didn't have the money in my account. I took it. Uh, oh, oh, here we hang go. On, don't, don't, don't. Hang on, can <laughs> we pause I this? <laughs> we're we're I just caught a bit yeah. jar and oh, jumped up. Oh, We're at a new have... shower. I'm going to wish you anything. The last thing I'll be, <laughs> no, I never said it. <laughs> Jump no, cut straight I, to test. I had the money no, elsewhere. So you gave you the money in a suitcase. I had the money <laughs> elsewhere, right? And they said, we need the money. You need to see the money in your account. So I went to the bank, put the money in my account. And you actually have a picture under your back. <laughs> going, there it is. Yeah. Where was the money before Pretty you out. put it in your account? Just in places. Ten in places. In, a yeah. Ken Credit. Dodd. in places, <laughs> right. Shoe boxes. Your nana's gone. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. A little bit like that, yeah. Lifting up plant uh, pots outside. Yeah. And then, so I went in, printed, printed off my bank statement, and then literally... So it was all one track. I went, yeah, can I put this amount of money in my bank account? And they went, yeah. I said, now can I print it off my bank statement? They went, yeah. And I went, can I take that money back out now, please? And they said, yeah. And that's the order done. And then I went, that with the money. They went, okay, fine. I was like, what's well, the But then point where was the money 20? before that bank account? What, well, what do you want to know those for? Statements. In Cheshire Woods? <laughs> what do you need to know for? <laughs> that's what he needs to know. Well, that's yeah. why they're asking you because otherwise you could have just think you're being a bit your dad this about this. This, you know? this money been, floats, this you know what I mean? Being very your money dad. comes and money right. goes. This, this has been a long form sting operation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> money comes and money goes. That's it, you know what I mean? Does it? Is that what you say? Yeah? <laughs> I'd love to find There's some dodgy shit going on with you, isn't there? I just, I just didn't like it. I had bits money of it in my account, bits goes. of it in other accounts. Are oh, you upset that we're all on the solicitor side here? Yeah, I am. Because I just I don't understand why they need to know for. It's not it's that I can job. see why they need to know. Like, well, I, just I used to work in a, I, I, oh, well, I used to work in a bank. Well, yeah. And uh, as we all know, that was very successful. But if you have any large amount of money, yeah. so you've got to... You've got it's got to come from somewhere. Yeah. You can't we can't a just gift. take the money and go, oh great. A gift. If you if you come with fifteen grand, yeah, but I, I have to ask you cash. where it's come from. I earn a lot of money in cash. Right. Yeah. At the time I did as well. I just pay tax on that. Well, why don't well, you just say? Nice. It was like a lot of cash it, why can't you just say uh, it was a gift off your mum and dad? Well, because you're not. Because I don't want to. them getting the credit for my hard earned money. And they have to pay. Ta- you can't gift someone more than a certain amount each year either. 
because that's taxable. No, if they just went, it was a gift. A gift. Go no, but you your mum and dad can't just give them obviously they've got fifteen grand cash from. Gi- yeah, but they won't. It's just a gift deposit form, and they don't really give a shit. It's where yeah, you true. got the money from, yeah, not where yeah, they got it from. Yeah, yeah they're not telling. They've going back and back and back and back. Oh, when your mum and dad have got it from saving somewhere, so you just get a gift deposit form. There's the money for me, mum and dad. They sign it. And eventually you know? the church is like, yeah, 15 grand's gone missing six months ago. <laughs> yeah, but then... You trace it back far enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you, but you don't know, do <laughs> no. you? They just need to know it's the person they're dealing with. And there's yeah. the son. Gift deposit forms. I wish I had all these problems. I've never had to... You will. No one's you keep, ever you keep saving, yeah. eventually yeah. you will. No one's ever asked me where this 30 quid deposit <laughs> come from. Wait, where's this... Uh, <laughs> where's this 620 pound now? She's going, where's the 616 pound coming from? Don't be so Sheila's weird, you're not a woman. <laughs> Doesn't work like that anymore. Oh, right? actually, too many is questions. Really a women? Not anymore. That would be so funny if you put female at the same bit of money. When I first moved to Congleton, I waited for a bus, not realising like once every hour. Quid What's your, your name? Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Actually, yeah, yeah. they're not allowed to ask these Phyllis. days, so... <laughs> Phyllis Comedy. <laughs> the. Yeah, the uh. Phyllis Comedy 137. <laughs> yeah. I uh, there was a bus thing called Lady Line. Yeah. When I first went to Congress, I waited for ages for this bus, and then Lady Line. And I, I, I don't know why, because I was an adult at the time, but I, I thought, oh, I can't get on this. It's obviously just for women. So, <laughs> and the guy didn't think to go, oh, you can clearly get because I'm not waiting for any other yeah, bus. Yeah. And he just went, uh, and then just drove off, and I just stood there. Lady I think I would line. think if he's that dumb, yeah, fucking, I wouldn't want him on the bus. Yeah. yeah. God, I'm not too thick to get on a bus. Is he even, is he even, is he even thick or a pair of <laughs> like yeah. Rosa Parks. Is this, is, this, is this the woman's only bus? Yeah. Um, yeah. You won't allow me. I've been waiting for an hour for this. <laughs> I've heard about this bus. <laughs> Where do I get off? <laughs> Phil's there counting his money. It's the woman's only bus, yeah. Where do I get off? A yeah. single? Yes, I am. That's why I'm getting on. <laughs> I've heard about this. Oh, oh God, my God, I've got a day rider. I've heard about this. (laughs) Um, But yeah, lady line. (laughs) What were you talking about then? I just can't remember. We were talking about buying a house, Tez. Hang on. You you, are you so you moving out 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 (laughs) your mum's out? Stop it. Mum's gonna move with me. Your mum's gonna move with you? Yeah. So then Uh, my mum's living with me, not me living with me, mum. I was gonna ask you because how move? We've always we've always joked how how culture thing that you used to live with your mum. Now you're married. Yeah. You still live with your mum. Yeah. But it was a nice I thing. I thought I should be on her own. Oh, okay. You, me- you mentioned it. this tonight at the gig. Yeah. And it's, and it is a really beautiful thing that I've always thought that uh, our culture is disgusting the way we treat our Oh, people. yeah. Like we them. literally just go, and then we complain about open culture. I just left it at disgusting and we'll stop there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, there's a lot more we have to worry about. <laughs> but let's focus on the old people for now. <laughs> but like the way that, what I always find it funny <laughs> when people complain about the way that old people are treated in care homes and I think yeah. well then uh, bring them into yours I've, like, I've never understood that I know I've, it's I've, hard but like, well my mum and dad yeah. looked after when my auntie was dying yeah. they brought her into the house <laughs> and looked after her yeah it is funny yes I, it's, it's hilarious it is funny yeah. wow. I'm wow. talking about the, wow. care, the way they treat people in care homes right, that's also like hilarious the culture thing sorry I wasn't actually talking about your misfortune the brief well, I, yeah, I, well my uncle when he was in a care home it just was the rank. idea how we just think fuck them well, we didn't really like, I think with my uncle, we didn't really get over. In fact, we've still not picked him up. He's, his ashes have been uh, in Blackpool for about 10 years at right. the funeral. So I'm guessing they You get them when you do the comedy station. Yeah, I'll go and get him. <laughs> Can I go and do this day? I've got to get me uncle's ashes. Yeah, yeah. I'll pick up Uncle Malcolm on the way. <laughs> my mum just keeps going, nah, just leave it. And I'm like, he must be in there leave somewhere. It. I want to find him. But so anyway. hold on. Oh, just it hypocr- was, it hypocritical might- Phil again. By the way, his uncle's just left there. No, Wait. I will go. I would love Peter to go and get him. Tell him he's with the old people. So he's old people, but well, he's, no, he's a he's not old, is he? He's dead. Yeah, it's well. a different different thing. He's an but, old dead but guy. The way that my dad looked after my my auntie, I thought was really because yeah. they're not particularly young, but it was such a nice. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to do the same for them. But the uh, but it is interesting when you mentioned it the night. I was like, it's such a shame that we instead of like it's always like, well, we've got to save up. And all these old people in our culture end up having to use all the savings mm. to pay t- to be alive. That's the Tories, isn't it? To, That's to right. fund the, their life in this home. And it's heartbreaking. But the, it's a nice thing where you go, of course, where else is she going to yeah. go? She goes like, into she your home. You know, the whole only child? Youth. No, hope, hopefully one day, but not yet. No. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> have a child one Are day. you an only child? Oh, don't child? get it wrong. They oh, treat sorry. the siblings I like... I thought you said 
He treat the siblings like shit. No, sorry. Sorry. Are you an only child? Uh, no, no, I've got nine siblings. That's what I thought was nine really weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Susan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mum and Come on, Mum and Dad. Siblings can fuck up. I know you've been divorced for four years, but come on. Uh, no, I've, got, I've got nine siblings split over two families. Oh, so I've got an older right. sister, me. Parents got divorced. Both got remarried. How many years younger? They both, my dad's got six. My mum's got six. But me and my, it's like a Venn diagram with me and my sister in the middle. And right. Four on that side, four on that side. Nice. nice. And I, where are you age ways? Age wise? Siri's gonna shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> um, I'm second eldest. Is so I've got older siblings. Sister, right. Me, parents got divorced. Right. I thought clearly. And then right. they both had four kids each. Do you think it was your fault? Because yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's what's doing around. Do you reckon? That's why he stumbled off his mum, isn't he? He's making up for, making up for this shitty call. So take a turn as a podcast <laughs> <laughs> as it opens up about how he... Yeah. It's like the new Bobby Lee clip. Yeah. Yeah. Every day for a summer. <laughs> yeah, there's that clip of you being really emotional than me going, oh, fucking hell, I couldn't give a shit about Sheila's wheels. <laughs> Um, very was that the same episode? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. No, I was trying to work out because you said six, why you're the one who's taking the Because oh, no one has that on for various reasons. Right, yeah. Just because you, so, we you, you're down like down. last one out, you've got to look after No, that. I was in London for 10 years and moved back. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're at home, you've got to be like, oh, I've got to take it with me Because I was like, well, someone's got to do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Sacrifice my comedy career. Yeah. Good on you. I'd have to move into mum and dad's and then take it over and then look after them. <laughs> so I'd have to do a coup with that. Oh, house. and you'd definitely be charging your siblings as well, though. Well, I've only got one brother, haven't I? Yeah, you'd definitely take some money off him. Yeah. Would you look after your mum and dad then? Uh, I do, well, I, I think... Uh, well, I would, yeah, I think. Would you? Because I like doing stuff well, from now, but my, my dad... Mom, no, dad. I don't even speak to them now. No. You don't speak to your parents? No, I speak to them just... So, a like care ever. home? Just... What? You stick them in a home? Um, no, I wouldn't stick them in a home. I've got two siblings there. I'd uh, finan- if, financially bully one of them to look after right. them. I mean, j- I'm, I'm but if they weren't able to, like, <sighs> it, like, is that a home or you're looking after them? Well, look, I'm not yeah, but like, how much are you actually looking after them? Would I, would I, would I have a would I put a granny flat on my house? Yes. Yeah. Would I have a living up in my house? No. I'm not a geneticist, but I'm guessing your parents aren't going to live long enough to see a home. You say that. Um, well, nan's <laughs> I mean, I think you say that. Home has in hospital. Me nan's eighty odd. See out there, days eighty odd. Spent her life chain smoking. Looks like Jabba the Hutt. The woman won't die. So, caught COVID, outlived it. And it will be pain for your, your parents' last days, won't we? We've had this before. I reckon I'm healthier than you. I mean, I after. just don't think you are. You're you're falling apart. You're out of hospital. I stopped smoking at ten months now. Not smoking. Look well at me. Done. Look at me. Well done. Look at me fly. Well done. Yeah, thanks. And I don't drink wine anymore. <laughs> Never. No, I did the other night, and it made me feel awful. Yeah. So that's a lie. Yeah. Okay. Well, I drink wine a bit, but very rarely. <laughs> yeah. But spirits. I'm all over. Um, I'm a lot healthy now, and I exercise and things. You still taking your poo to the hospital? Still taking my poo. I don't, that was a long time ago I took my poo to hospital. I didn't just take it there. I've like never had to take my poo to the hospital. No, you don't. Exactly. That's so. where you do your poos. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi pulls into yeah, the boiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Engine running. Yeah, yeah. Just wait to hear me. Yeah, just finished the fucking <laughs> Sing- Singapore chow mein, sticking in the tub of it, lashing it. Save on a little Sample that yeah. if you want. <laughs> yeah. Put a bag in it, seat down. <laughs> Pay for the NHS. No, I swear to you on his way. Oh, uh, no! It's all uh, all clear. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. Nothing yeah. insidious. <laughs> eating you alive. Oh. You're talking about that homeless guy you bought the dinner for. Yes. Okay. Come, right. Come, come so, on to yours. So hey, so yours no, no. I was on Edgware, I was on Edgware Road. <laughs> yeah. In in London, and just walking. Lovely and part someone, of the world. Someone's, <laughs> someone's asked for money, and I've gone. I don't have any money, but if you want a couple, go outside the grocery shop. If you want yeah. a couple of grocery things, cool. Yeah. <laughs> the guy's gone into the meat section <laughs> Steaks and I've, Yeah <laughs> And I've spent £27 Really? He's, he's done like a mini shop <laughs> <laughs> And in my head Then it's too late You've committed haven't you? Yeah and I'm going, you know. but, in my, but in my he's head I'm, selling going, them but on. I'm like Where are you cooking this If you're homeless? He's selling yeah. them on Yeah he's selling them on yeah Yeah And I'm like 
I've been ah, fucking like swindled. This, and in my head, I was like, I've been swindled here, but I'm like, yeah, what? you have. But, yeah. but it wasn't like afterwards that it's really. Like, like, it, wasn't cheese, afterwards, it wasn't afterwards. Steaks and cheese. It wasn't yeah. afterwards that I thought any peppercorns. I think I've been, no. I've been swindled. There was like while it was happening, I knew yeah. I was being swindled, and I went, I'm, you, I'm in now. You couldn't back out. Yeah, yeah. I love that. The bottle of wine just turned, looking yeah. at the label. <laughs> at one point, I think he he, he emptied like you know like when they have the crate of mushrooms. He emptied like yeah. entire mushrooms into a bag. Right. Wow. So how much? So what did he get? It was like some steak things, like some mushrooms, a couple of other veg bits. From a steak. And, I went, and then eventually I was like, that's it. And, and he went, God, oh, that. And I went, no. <laughs> <laughs> Homeless man, yeah. beggars can't be choosers. Save it, save it, please. I was supposed to eat this without crackers. <laughs> oh, he's all right, tight. Get him off the Look telly. Going, <laughs> so no season in. Was he deaf or homeless? <laughs> Probably, obviously not. So he just sat outside somewhere saying, they, 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 look, they looked like they were struggling stick. and they were like oh, kind oh. of begging. Then? Yeah. He. Right. And, and like the, yeah, he, 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 I thought there was a pair the of them yeah. Yeah. He, Right were, off, were, right. The I thought there was, I thought he, was, I thought yeah. was a couple and you were like, the person he, he was bought them a date night. And then just did a little mini shop. <laughs> Dying out for two. Just like a fucking 7-Eleven and just like, yeah, going around, just doing their fucking... Like, like if it was DVDs, they probably would have rented, rented one out. Going, oh yeah, I love actually have that one. Can we go to Global Video, please? <laughs> I got a fine because it rewind it. The prick. <laughs> going back a bit that one. But uh, I, right, uh, Phil. I yeah, uh, I uh, upset a homeless guy as you probably know. I don't know if I told you this many years ago when uh, I was at a day off school. Have I told you that? No. I must have told you. Uh, I had a they day, awful weren't allowed to... I well, wasn't allowed in the single. I was poorly. <laughs> yeah. But my mum had to go into town to return something, obviously. It's us, isn't it? So she's telling me she found it cheap or something. <laughs> so in town. And it was outside... I think it was like outside like Marks and Spencer or something in Preston. And there was a homeless guy with his dog. So I was stroking the dog. And uh, the guy went, why aren't you at school? And I went, oh, I've got worms. And he's like, get the fuck away from my dog. And I was going, what? <laughs> <laughs> I had worms, that's why I was off. <laughs> that always annoys me about know. like when homeless people have a dog and then everyone's interested. But only in the dog, though, not the person. That pisses, yeah. that pisses me off. Well, mm, I think it's a good marketing tool for the homeless. I yeah. think so. Accessorise. Not a fan of the homeless that sit by the ATM, though. <sighs> Never sat well with me, that. <laughs> Well, no more. Because no, you, you, you give know it, you've got, you know you got cash on you. I'm not, I'm not going to give it anyway, but now I feel yeah. bad about yeah. not giving yeah. it. Just come on, yeah. a bit of space, a bit of room. Let me just get me money. Better off sitting at the change machine in an amusement. Okay, because you have got change then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're wanting notes there. They're, not allowed they're, in they're there. wanting yeah, notes there. Yeah. Like that's like, come on, notes. That is just trying to box smart, isn't it? Like, yeah, no. Got any cash? Well, you about to? So you can get one note every couple of hours. Decent, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah. Good, good, good money, begging. You need to, you need to, you need to busy. <laughs> That's yeah. where it came from, eh? <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, uh, another piece of the puzzle. <laughs> I've got the corner. Slowly but surely we build this deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be homeless for very long. <laughs> You're homeless. No, I said houseless. It's like the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Picking up clues of Bob's tank. Where do you get the money from? Donations. Yeah. yeah. Bucket, bucket list. <laughs> it's like Patreon, but you know, not really Patreon. <laughs> yeah, we made no, we made some uh, busy, and he said that every time you pick a homeless person up, it's just, it's like three hundred quid minimum. <laughs> three hundred quid minimum on them, like fuck off. Yeah, like just a day's tea. <laughs> I know. And you got these cunts performing in London for the same street performers. They get, they get, a, they get good yeah. bank them, yeah, don't yeah. they? Oh, of course. You're yeah, saying it like we're not them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just yeah, yeah. saying we're just up, we're just there with set fees. <laughs> yeah. We're there without the potential to win more yeah, yeah, with the yeah, roof. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> David McSavage, I think he's a comedian. I want to get him on. Okay, ask him then. I don't know. Who? Say it to me like I'm going to. David up, McSavage, have you heard of him? No. David McSavage. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I'm being cheated on. Like you're talking about other guests. I know. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I know. <laughs> also, out of nowhere, no one brought, no one brought it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very specific. I don't like this. Like, no, 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 that's why I brought it up. No, that's why I brought it up. You got four of the YouTube words, right? I tell you what, next uh, week, next week you'll be all right. Don't talk about all this shit. No, he he's on, sorry about no, this episode. Why, no, this, is, this is very no. much a stocking filler episode. <laughs> that's the link. Tune in soon, though, for David that's, McSavage. That's, that's the link. He used to be a street performer. Right. right. He was a street really? performer. Right. Cool. With the guy who was <laughs> Well, he got fed up with the money that was untraceable. He didn't have to pay yeah. tax on. Was he upset about that? Maybe, yeah. 
Who knows? You made a bad David McSavage. You fucked up. Well, well. That, they, they, that's gone, isn't it? That's the answers fell out yeah. of that. What? It's all sum up cards and that now. They have they have them cards now, like the card machines and that. Yeah, yeah I did yeah, that, that in Edinburgh. Yeah. They are great. Yeah. Like exactly. in Edinburgh, because years ago people go, "Oh, I haven't got any cash," and you can go, yeah, oh, "Well, I've got that." Yeah. As soon as I get out of this cave and get some signal, mate. Yeah, but now you're paying. <laughs> oh shit, they've got. <laughs> now you're paying tax on it now, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, but tax on something is better than tax on nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Financial advice. Oh, here we are. Yeah. A little <laughs> piece. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely. the picture coming together. <laughs> uh, so you brought the homeless man all that stuff, and then you went and stood in the queue with him and that. Did you buy yeah, him a bag yeah, as well? Did you, did you, did you learn you anything about him? Any, no, did, nothing. Did you talk was, to him going so, around? I was so vexed. Did you have a conversation while you were going Because I knew what was happening, so I was like, this, yeah, I'm, I'm, in windle, I'm being hustled here, but I'm, <laughs> I'm in now. We so used to just stand a foot away from the whole time. going... And then eventually was like, that. I was like, no. You've got what you've got. Let's go to till. <laughs> Honestly, did I you, ba- did you pay no. him a, ba- a bag as well? Or did he just say he no, carry it? Yeah, I got a bag as well. <laughs> got a bag yeah. from the butcher section. And he got a bag to put the veggies. Old, older, young looking. <laughs> Mid, like 40s, I guess. Oh, yeah. I used to, there used to be this homeless guy called Paul in London. I used to live near Finsbury Park. And me and my friend would go to this pub that Paul's hostel was nearby. Mm. We always come around, we'd chat for a bit, and then I'd go and buy him some cans. That's all he wanted was a few cans from the shop. Yeah. But I went in one day, and uh, and uh, he was asking, he got this cider, and he was like shoving them down his arm because you're not allowed to take drinks into the hostel. So sorry, Paul, if I'm going to let you, if you're watching. Oh, you grass. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so he put them down his arms, he'd be walking like a shit kind of <laughs> robocop like this. You could see the cans of his thing. But then he was like, I was like, oh, what is that? He went, oh, it's a cider. Said, it's quite nice. I went, oh, is it? I said, oh, actually, I don't mind cider that. He went, well, try some. So I remember getting home and this can of cider that had been recommended to me by a homeless man. <laughs> Hold on. It's fucking rank, he, obviously. Did he give you the cider? No, I paid for it. Oh, right. But I, I thought was he like, meant in like, oh, he went, pulled yeah, her out of his sleeve well. and went, try some. Yeah, I'd have that. I think it's a low he, point, though, to be sat in your bedroom drinking a warm <laughs> can of cider that's been recommended by the homeless man. The, 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 the experts know, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. I mean Yeah, but I don't know what he thinks is good if it makes yeah. you it's Yeah, it's like when I buy wine out quicker. His palate but. might have been ruined yeah. over the years. Yeah. 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 I, I buy wine the highest alcohol percentage for the cheapest price. Yeah. Fourteen percent I had a head in a stone. Organic. Vegan. I know my music I saw on your story, yeah. I've got to have a moment everywhere. <laughs> I um, I I did the homeless person outside the shop. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll go buy you something. Did a homeless, you did a homeless person, person outside, outside the shop. <laughs> he asked me, for yeah, he's always got to go one better. Uh, he asked me for money. Ten spends all his money. No way, yeah, no way. He wants, he always wants a crowd, don't you? No way, yeah. What's it? Just do it. No way, yeah. What's it? the back. I was like, do you want anything? And he went, can I have a Costa? And I was fuming. Why a Costa? Yeah, and then I I understood it completely. But I was like, that just feels extreme. What, in the... Because I had to stand and wait for the Costa. What, in oh, the, the that's vending what machine? Yeah. Because yeah. I was outside Tesco right. and I said, I've got no money on me, but I'm going to get to get ale, basically. Do you want anything? And he was like, oh, I wouldn't mind the Costa and the butty. So I asked him what butty he wanted. He went, anything chicken. So I got in the anything butty. Anything chi- chicken. Yeah, <laughs> anything, anything chicken. chicken. Like, sorry, any one of the chicken varieties. Anyway. And then, this is anything chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to wait for his Costa. Oh, and I was standing there waiting for his Costa thinking, just fuck, what the fuck? I'm just standing here waiting for a cost. Being like, nice. Fuming. Being fuming, nice. Yeah, I'm being nice. Fuming oh, about I, it. I once walked out of like Dixie's, you know, one of those types of chicken, yeah, yeah. Mm. Of chicken ones. Oh, I really fancy and then one this one, like, I, was, I was eating on the go and this homeless guy asked me for some change. I didn't have any. Or oh, maybe I did. And I was like, no, but I can give you some. <laughs> maybe, yeah, I maybe I did. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I, I, I did. Maybe sure I did. Had some. <laughs> um, but I was like, well, you can have my wings. And then he went, oh, this, are they spicy? I went, oh, yeah, they might be. And he went, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just love it. Also, you just also love it. You dehumanise them. That's why you think like yeah. they'll have anything. I, I give love you. it. It's like no, no, I won't. I yeah. bought a, a burger and chips for one guy on a night out. He's like, I, I re-, and he's like, I really didn't want this. <laughs> yeah. I like I'm it when like, oh, so you for no reason want someone's approval, and it's the funniest. I. It's going off topic a bit, yeah. but it's but it's that thing like when someone goes no, and then you go, oh, why do I feel like a piece of shit? Yeah. I was on uh, a bus replacement service. This isn't a homeless yeah. story, but uh, a bus replacement service Tyler from Manchester stops. to mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it never stops, right? Never stops. And the guy who was going to Liverpool, the bus goes on to, yeah. and the guy was like, for um, wheels to get about so on that <laughs> yeah. replacement bus. So he goes, I he goes, I ah, get on. I say, are you stopping at you know this stop? And he goes, yeah, yeah. And I went, oh, I said, just to let you know, I said every 
bus replacement driver goes to the wrong stop, takes to the tram stop, but it's not that. It's That's quite out the way, I said. And he went, yeah, I know I'm going. I went, well, all right. I said, but it's just, you. I'm just saying, just to let you know, because yeah. the sat-nav sends you a different route that they give you. And he goes, yeah, I think, I know where I'm going, all right. Anyway, so we're driving, and, and another act I bumped into before I got on, so I'm sat with him. And then uh, he goes, from the back, I'm at the back of the bus, he goes, yeah, you're right, I've gone to the wrong one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, I thought you were a prick. Anyway, so I, went, <laughs> I went, oh, never mind. He went, yeah, I went to the tram. I was like, okay, well, I'm having a chat with you over the fucking bus now. But I was like, he's such an arrogant prick. So as I got off, there were some people coming on, and I don't know why I did this, but I just went, oh, well, thanks very much. And I went to shake his hand, uh-huh. which is weird, because he's the bus driver. But it's because it wasn't, it was just a coach who was just sort of sat there ah, and I'd been chatting. Yeah. So in my head, I went, well, thanks. And then I put my hand out. I was like, what the fuck am I put my hand out for? And then he went, and this is the bit where he goes, no, nah, you're all right. Wow. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. It's the most imp- I went, oh. oh, and I thought, well, I can't. So I went, oh, go on. He goes, no, nah, I'm all right, thanks. And I went, oh. little rub on the shoulder there. Yeah. He no. just fucking oh, slammed me. Nah, yeah. It was just horrible. That to get- oh. I've heard about you on the lady line. You're all right, mate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wanking touching you, you pervert. <laughs> but so it was the most crease. And I was like, and then I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Going, but why did I want his approach? I hated him. <laughs> And I was trying to be nice to him by going, oh, don't worry just about it. And head, he made didn't me he? feel like a piece got of... He did. He, <laughs> he, he, he did it all on purpose. Red free. Yeah. That's Do you ever weak. buy stuff off... Not necessarily Polish smackheads, people. but yeah. <laughs> like smackheads or trams or like people who rob from the, the shop and they come yeah, out well, of Sam Island. The, the, you get a lot of steaks. <laughs> yeah. Steaks is one, isn't it? When they yeah. come in, they go, Do you like steak? And I go, yeah. And they pull it out of the pants. Yes, Sam Island. Oh, no, normally to the Tesco bag. like. Yeah, no, I mean, they, but they've shoved them down the pants at yeah. the co-op. Probably, yeah. It's usually the co-op in the Northern Quarter. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is, they're very polite. No, but have you ever in the pub sort of <laughs> No days? security guards, that's why. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever I wonder whether your sensibilities or your desperate for save money comes wins. Yeah, I'm wondering, I probably bought tobacco off. <laughs> yeah. Some touch. I don't know. No. no cheese or steaks, no. No, I draw the line at cheese. <laughs> I, that's what I'd buy, me. I'd buy cheese more than... Say it now. Well, want. Yeah, crotch warm. I used to buy like, loads. Just brings cheese out of the crotch. You well, no, because yeah. you never, no, yeah. you never see it in the crotch. It's basically people just go to the Tesco, rob what they can, and then come and sell it in the pub. Right. Typical British culture, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Get on board, Tess. Um, Fine. <laughs> and they come around Tesco selling it, and yeah, I used to always used to go get all sorts from there. But like me, one of my dad's mates, <laughs> one of my dad's like mates, like a little shop. You just go to the pub, like Costco. Like, like, we'll get, yeah. <laughs> just a little, to get something. Just a little shop. <laughs> It's just like it's just like it, it, it's why you see cheese and like shaving blades behind the counter because they're the they're the quickest things you I've can rob. I've never seen cheese behind the counter. I've never seen never che- cheese. No, behind I've never counter? seen cheese. Be- no, <laughs> so no, I think I've never seen cheese behind the counter. <laughs> and the jurors oh, right. in my life. Where's cheese behind the counter? Oh, loads of places in Bootle. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Bootle, apparently. If you can send us some pictures of some cheese, cheese behind, behind the counter. Yeah, yeah. You've never seen the cheese behind the counter. They've got a fridge behind the counter. Yeah, yeah. Can wheel of Edam. I've never seen that. Yeah, and like razor blades. Some Dairy Lee behind like a locker. Like. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like a big... <laughs> it's like, like Cathedral City and that. Yeah. He's got the cheese string! <laughs> <laughs> Freeze, <laughs> motherfucker! <Yeah. laughs> Imagine that! Stick it sooner! Give me all the cheese! <laughs> Dairy Lee's triangles coming out. Hitting the alarm, the cheese baby, alarm! Baby bells rolling on the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking them up for six Rose packs of cheese string. <laughs> They've got good resale value. They've got good resale value. Fucking hell. Fucking resale i tell you what, whoever's the shop owner of that one, he's the head. Oh, cheese yeah. behind the counter. Yeah, well, it's hard. I've seen it. <laughs> Do you be like, no, the, the good stuff. No, you can't. Can't hold the good stuff. <laughs> the, French, the French stuff in, yeah. the, in the cellar. Yeah. You're not allowed because you're not allowed to know, let them know that you know your cheeses. You don't want to be attention. Who sent you? Have some yeah. of that yeah. rare business. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me. Here's Bobby, the fuck yeah. you think he is. Ask for a bit of Stilton. Maybe they just, it's only in the shop you go in, they put the cheese behind it because you're robbing it all the time. <laughs> well, anyway. The cheeses, the steaks, and all that, and, the, and legs of lamb and stuff like that. He's throwing. Yeah, imagine going around to your. He's to bring them around the pub. How big is that counter? No, 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 no. Not behind yeah, the cool. counter. This is what the this is what the, the fellas used to rob. <laughs> That's an employer goalie to stand in front of it. <laughs> no, this is what the fellas used to rob and then come to the pub and sell sort of thing. A right. leg of lamb with them yeah. tags on it, like you bought some jeans. And, yeah, I mean, my dad's mate is, is <laughs> like Phil, dead, dead cheap. Can't bear not to get a bargain. Oh, not dead cheap. I like. Wow. 
years. I wanted to. I like saving money. Really cheap. So it's about twenty pound eighty pence coming here today to be. <laughs> you mentioned off. it about five times. Do you yeah, ever I pay am. for parking? Well, no, I don't park the train. The guy sorts that out. When you drive, <laughs> when you drive, do you ever pay for it? Uh, oh, not if I can help it. Oh, I got. I, I, I got I away. Think parking with... on the, like if you park in a designated car park, fine. But I think street parking charging for that is a fucking scam. And yeah, I can get. I try to get rid of it as much as I can. I stayed I in got the travel lodge in, in Bedford the other day for three, three days. Minutes. Because they don't know. So I was I parked, So I was in London on that Monday. I was meant to yeah. be here. So I went stayed in Bedford. I've been gigging there, and they just say, "Type your edge in," and you just type in how many nights you're there. So I just yeah. typed in three nights, free parking. Oh yeah, decent. I didn't even say another money saving tip put to you by <laughs> Phil Ellis. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't forget, Coca Cola is really good. <laughs> you trying to get on? I'm trying to get something. Yeah. You're back in the beeb now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, very briefly. It's the only reason he's here. Kicking me out every two. I well, think he's a very partridge man. This guy, isn't he? Why? Just the way he's sort of in with TV, but then he's just sort of fucking. Because no one likes me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he pushed out, he burns bridges. Because he goes down there, he moans about the cost of the train to get in. Yeah. I'm like, let's not let's not book him again. Gets because a seven hundred pound yeah, every two years. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I get me royalties through. I had some sweet forty-five pound through the other day. Thank oh, you very lovely, much. Jubbly. Thank you, Auntie Beeb. Thank you. That'll pay if I do. That'll pay for the cheese. Um. <laughs> No, I've done a, I do doing a couple of things, but there's always for radio. And I'll say this the other day, it's funny how, like, I do your own thing on radio, because you're the show, Taz. Did you get asked on a lot of other things? I never got asked on no, anything. They, they me, like, the, what was the one, the fucking long-running Radio 4 one? Not the National. News or, quiz or something. Yeah, news quiz. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind going on news quiz. And then, oh, yeah, can you come down and watch one? I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't live in London yeah. either, so I can't. Yeah. And if I come to London, I don't have a free evening because I'm gigging. So why would I? But, like... Like I've been on, but I've been on Mock the Week though, so isn't it like yeah. similar? And like, yeah, come on, I've never went to watch one. They didn't put me. I was like, has everyone who's been on had to go and watch one before they went on? I don't right. think so. I doubt no, it. they had to be privately. Andrew character. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny. I look at a lot and I go, yeah, really. And I'm like, yeah, but it's like, yeah, it's like it's but you've always told me my, you like my show, so just put me on other stuff. It's mad, isn't yeah. it? I just used to think that. I was like, but you like me, don't you? <laughs> and they're like, no. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to talk about the news. We'll do it right now. Go on. Uh, what's happened? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson. Hey. Jeremy bloody Clark. Jeremy. What's he done now? Okay. Go on, wrote, Phil's, Phil's going to tell us. Phil's going to tell us. Jeremy Clark's Clarkson wrong. Done? Yeah, okay. What? Jeremy Clark's daughter. Come out Jeremy there. Clark's off. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. That's good. You know, basic. <laughs> he wrote an article in a rag that won't be named on this podcast. Jeremy Clark's off. Where... Um, Said horrible things about M- Megan. Didn't he incite violence against her? He was saying that I wish she was traded through the streets naked and b- like basically in that Game of Thrones shame thing. Yeah, thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's such and a said, horrible I, thing. I dislike her as much as Rose West. <laughs> but he's such a, a pathetic man anyway. Like because it's such a, he's always doing these things and he thinks it's like a, um, I think Stuart Lee do, does it really funny on that the bit where he talks about. Yeah. Now I hope Jeremy Clarkson's got three children and I hope they all. Die. <laughs> he doesn't say he goes only joking because he's yeah. parodying yeah, yeah, yeah. what Jeremy Clarkson said about this other thing. Yeah. And um, but he does it because it's purposely. I'm, I'm ruining that straight but, but the but the point is he does things on purpose like a kid to get attention. And then yeah. they give him like, attention. this is stuff like you hear on like it's the open like, mic circuit that like, yeah, like, like, like yeah. you won't be gigging in three months. Yeah, it's mm. saying the unsayable. Well, we know a few of these. Yeah, you know, you're the dying your ass and cancelled. Yeah. 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 And like always lazy things like they'll say something about the Twin Towers and stuff. It's like, oh God. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, he's like a shitty open mic edgy comic. Mm. And it's he, just he, did that, he did that on a rag and then everyone fired against him and his own daughters come out and went, yeah, I, fair I, point. I don't agree with anything my dad says. He's just the knobhead. But it is hard as well. I always thought this about someone else where you go, the kids must be like, for fuck's sake, like growing up you go, oh, your dad's it. And you obviously you're still going to love your dad. He's not going to change that. But then to go, I'm going to have to live in this world their kids now. moving though. I don't yeah. think that they, they get that much. I think they're all the same, similar. I think a lot of the kids pretend you know. not to be like the dads as well until they get older and when they're comfortable themselves and then they retreat. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I, I get it. The thing well, is, I've always had a chip survival. on my shoulder with class and money. But as you get a bit older, you kind of also go, well, that makes me just as bad of going... Like, oh, this person's got this. You go, well, some people, they're just, it's not their fault they've been brought up with money. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I wish I'd 
Actually, no, I don't. Phil Ellis is available for the news quiz. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> I'm available morning, anytime. I'll sit anytime with all them watch. posh cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about the news. Phil can watch. He's free. I'm free. I'll do it for free. I'll do it for Chris. He knows what I'm like. I'll, I'll rinse news, that green room. Yeah, you can't. You you can't not watch. You listen to GB News, don't you? GB I news. was ob- obsessed You're with obsessed GB with News. Yeah. No, but only for a short. I've not watched it for a while. Oh, right. You can go but on when that. it first happened, I was obsessed with it because it's so. F- you can go on funny. that. No, I Josh, don't want to go on it. Josh Howie's asked like, me on that. I just love watching. I just find it fascinating. It's like it's recording someone's garage, and it's just all these people, and it's always like. Oh, I don't know. It's just fascinating to watch them all trying to be edgy, and it's yeah, just so that's boring. The... And it's because and no one's edit because no one's good at making TV. There, it's so bad, but yeah, they just think they're being. Oh, it's just <coughs> it's a mate. If you get a chance, watch it. Mm. GB, I, they've got loads of shows now though. When's uh, David McSavage on? <laughs> 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 he's doing GB News next week, and he's gonna be on us afterwards. Uh, it is a fascinating channel. I've never watched it. It's just, yeah. seen clips. Josh Howie asked me to be on it the other week, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm all right." Well, I assumed everyone's getting paid. Lo- I was like, "You've got to be getting paid loads to be on this." Mm. Get paid a bit of money, like no, it's only like two hundred quid. You might as well go and do it. Two hundred yeah. yeah, quid, quid every evening. Yeah, three hundred yeah. quid to do it, but you got to be there from like four o'clock, and you got to be there for like six hours. But if you do that every evening, that's a salary, though, isn't it? Is yeah, it John yeah. Cleese on it now. I don't uh, know. He's doing. I'm sure he was the one that did. Plansky. He's doing a film with Ron Plansky, yeah. He's in a film with Roman Polanski as He's well. He's doing a film with Roman Polanski. Oh, no, stop it. GB News, Roman Polanski. Bingo. He was a like the cloud, she was. I'm trying to match. Uh, yeah. It's really funny because when do you shapes? do that, I do look up and go, oh. <laughs> it does look like it. Make a bit of mood. Can you do shapes? Uh, yeah, cloud. To the non-viewing I, I've listener. Got one sh- I can do one shape. <laughs> go on. To the non-viewing listener, Tez is vaping. Is that Elf Bar? That's my one shape. Uh, I taught like myself to do sheep. smoke ring. Sheep. Yeah. <laughs> you taught yourself to do a smoke ring when I was a, when I started smoking. That's all I wanted to. I can't. I don't. Okay. Um, not for time. Don't do anything. Was well, like an enabler then. I know. Yeah. 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 Go on, Go on, lad. But um, I just sat in front of the mirror for ages trying to figure out how to do smoke ring. I can't. Like, so cool. You did one like, early. I saw it flying. This it would have been. It would have been very much an accident. Yeah, I saw oh, really? that as well. That's why I thought that I'll ask him again. Very because... much been an accident. Oof. Well, you have to. We'll find out. We'll get a time code for you. Yeah. So you <laughs> <laughs> Send that oh, no. Discussing things that happened <laughs> earlier on in the podcast. <laughs> Put that on my active so profile. Back to yeah. 15 yeah. minutes when you did that what's smoke that, ring what's test. What's the Actor Showreel website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? It'll yeah. be on it. What on the which one? The, the Actor Showreel website. Oh, uh, TikTok. Star oh, now. Spotlight. Spotlight, yeah, put yeah, that on yeah. Spotlight. <laughs> smoke rings. <laughs> fucking Spotlight. That's been a waste of fucking money, I'd say. Are you on that? I've got to be to get auditions. Yeah, I'm on it as well. But you're like, I've never had anything off it ever. I nearly became the face of, uh, a, um, it was like a bingo thing. Of course. Because I had this audition and it was so bad. I I was so bad in it that I had to stop it and go, I'm just, they sent me the wrong script. So I didn't have the right thing to read. And then they were going, so we want you to act like a game show host. Um, but we want you to be a bit like this. And then they go, but we don't find these people funny. But we don't want you to be old fashioned like Bradley Walsh and this. We want you to be more modern. But then the modern take, I suppose it's weird because like they were saying like a bit of a Barrymore. Why did you send them clips of your telly show? Well, I know I was a bit like, well, I can do that. So, so like, I did it. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's like, dead, yeah. It's dead good. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just Barrymore, basically. But I was doing that and I was going, so I went, well, what Barrymore do you want? Do you want pre or post swimming pool? So that was quite <laughs> funny, right? And then they went, oh, uh, oh Big before brother, that. And I was like, oh, fuck. Because they went, we don't want cynical humor. We want it to be really fun. So I was yeah. like, oh. So I started doing it, and then they went, just ad lib around it. So she kept getting the answer wrong. And I went, I said, you got it wrong again. I went, I hope you die alone. right? And then they went, that's, I went, this isn't right. I'm so sorry, this isn't right. <laughs> I said, but the next person will be good, I'm sure. And we said, I got a call back. <laughs> and I was like, I've got a call back. And that was the worst audition I've ever done. And I got right. Do you know what? And I didn't care about it, yeah. but I thought, I started thinking of, Excuse oh, well, they obviously like yeah. me, and I am good at this. Convince and yourself. And you went home the job of Poochie. Well, I start thinking of the money. And then I start thinking, well, that'll help pay for those hair plugs <laughs> in Turkey. <laughs> so I was like, so I was going to have a lovely head of hair next year. Oh. Then I got fucked at the last minute. They went with someone else. Did you get down to the bottom two, did you? Yeah. But I think it got down to the bottom two, and I reckon it was the director, you know, when they go the director ones, but then yeah. the people with the money go, we can't have this guy yeah. fronting yeah. this camp. But look at him. <laughs> I think I haven't got the right look for it. But Maybe they were just oh, getting more clips of you and telling the person they wanted. Be more like him without the cynical... Too far. Well, you see, I turned down an advert year when I first did Edinburgh. 
and it's so stupid because I'd done an audition that was terrible, but they'd found me funny. So for another thing, it just came up. They went, we yeah. want him for that. And I'd gone in this audition and it had been so bad, but I was yeah. making people laugh because how bad it was. Uh, they thought it would be good for this though. Mm. So it was a go compare advert and they offered it me, my agents. And I said, well, I can't because in my head, it was the big advert that everyone would see. And I was doing my first Edinburgh show where it's meant to be me oh. struggling. So I thought it'll ruin that. But the money. To be the just, go compare guy? No, well, the, well it wasn't or with him. Different so no one, well, I saw the advert eventually and I turned it down. They kept ringing me. And in the end, they rang me and went, look, you've got it. We don't. And then the director rang me themselves yeah. and went, you've got it. I don't understand what the problem is. So I panicked and said I had childcare issues. <laughs> Does it know how to get out of it? So I've got childcare issues. So you have technically. I mean, I have, yeah. I mean, but... Um, and then I watched the advert and then the person who got it and you wouldn't have even known I was in it and it would have paid. The, and I was just like, oh, so ever since I've been like, don't turn money things, down. Don't, yeah. don't turn money down. Oh, like little idiot. shitty There's advert no one things like that. Yeah. No one and no one would, I don't know why. We recognise the voice. Because we, we know We've them. seen one person talk about, oh, you're selling out, whatever, and it gets in our heads. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. It was a bit of that. Yeah. I, do, I it think it only matters when you're like a million. If you're like just a circuit act or just an act that's getting but I think and the money you get I go well you you have to you're responsible to take how that. many ads have you or if it's like debt collectors or something or like you like those yeah it was even like, yeah, then maybe, come on. horrific yeah. Yeah. maybe yeah how many like, ads have you done one it was just had the voice over just eat one yeah yeah just that right you don't get just eat shots like in the street do you no well you wouldn't know we only know because like Darren Harriet's the man for them I, 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 I only mention it if I'm dying Darren, at, I, I only yeah. mention if I'm dying at a gig yeah just to get a bit of credit <laughs> yeah, you're the t- fucking gecko. I got TV. Like, you know. I don't know if he's like a good gecko. Anyone Washi- seen Love Island? Anyone Washi- watched Love Island? Washi um, had one and they pulled it, didn't they? They had to pull it for something that was said in it. So he, so his, his advert doesn't even exist. Oh, he did. He did just eat Washi did or something. Or did it was it a dream? I've got. Oh. I've been nowhere near any of them. I've got an agent, but the closest one I got with Nationwide asked me to do some. God. Yeah, I banked with Nationwide. I'd love to do one of them. I got paid 500 quid just to film myself. Mm. F- film myself in the house. I'd have banked with them. I'd got be paid, like, yeah, got paid five like spec savers. Like, I yeah. use spec savers. I'd be like, put me in one of your ads. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. I, can't like, a... I can't like gambling. Or well, alcohol. I'm like that with step one. So, like, I wear well, step one boxes. So, yeah. I asked them to sponsor this, and they just said, no. Give, give, me, give us three boxes, though. So, I was doing the one I was doing what was technically gambling, but it was bingo. And yeah. I just felt a bit, oh, and I didn't know gambling, about it. Oh, no. oh, yeah. But it was the thing of like, I think bingo halls are quite, because I've just known, you know, yeah, old yeah. ladies go and love it and that kind of thing. So it was that. And so a bit of me goes, I don't think that is. Well, I do gambling. Yeah. yeah. I do yeah. Gambling. Get but I wouldn't the, do, I don't know if I'd like to do it. It's Chris Kamara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't gamble, so I don't, I think that would be a bit hypocritical. Yeah, well, I well, gamble, if you ever so get in a gambling advert, send it to this guy, I'll do it. I mean, yeah, yeah yours would be so bleak. <laughs> yeah. Danny needs to pay with the rent. I can sit there on the edge of his seat watching the Champions League yeah. fight. I can sit there. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, there you go. I look to see who scores. <laughs> You'll probably get it off there. That should be a clip. Yeah, yeah, that should that's be a show that, reel. That's 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 that. a better one than that. No, that was one take, one take, Simon. Yeah. One take Simon, though. That was you fucking good, that. That is the ad as well. That, that, that is the ad. Was, <laughs> what's, what's he looking at? Yeah. <laughs> um, that is the ad as well, isn't it? It is. Oh, yeah. That's it. You, cl- you, you bet and slip there. Fucking... <laughs> 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 Rigdon, you having a laugh? Come on! <laughs> what would you advertise? Me? Come yeah. on! <laughs> just make, <laughs> just make the joke. <laughs> the law me into you quick and a fat joke. <laughs> yeah. Bats with doors. Bats with doors. Bungalows. <laughs> yeah. Stop it now! I'd say just even that's a test. Stop it now! Stop it now. now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> d- d- downhill slopes. Uh, last year when we did the Just Eat voiceover, it was like the week of the Euros final. England were in it, yeah. And I was, and they were spon- like one of the major sponsors of the Euros. Yeah. And I was like, can I get tickets for the for the final? And they're like, oh, yeah, cool. yeah. Now go back to me. Yeah. It's good. So Ro- do that. Really? I was like, I was like, come on. Ro did a similar thing with um, oh, done a done a, a thing for Standard Chartered, and I, he was like, and he said to his agent, tell him not to pay me. Give me two tickets to the Champions League final. And he went, yeah, I will do. And then just never replied to him. 
Here's one. I, I don't know. I don't know. I won't name the comic. There's a comic who did the nationwide advert. Yeah. Advertising for it. Then banks with them, then applied for a loan or something, and they turned them away. <laughs> 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 I'm on the bus. Yeah. I'm on the bus. I'm the bus. <laughs> Imagine the poster behind you. No. Your own face yeah. behind you. As the woman says no. You might know me from. Um, yeah. <laughs> we just don't think your job is like sufficient. Funny that though, isn't it? That is good. <laughs> That's so funny. Just clicking a pop. <laughs> a pop of yourself pops up. Just X that yeah. while I get rejected for this loan. Oh, fucking hell. What, uh, I wanted to ask you about your wedding. Mm. Did you a little, was, was it a secret affair? No. I thought it was, uh, who knew? Um, it was people that were there. on the down low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not you. Just, <laughs> yeah. people, my, I thought, my friends, Rob. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People he wanted to know. What do you think this is? <laughs> friends reunited? <laughs> you know. Jason Manfred, That's what you can advertise. Yeah. Yeah. You know? oh. Max Savage will let me go to his <laughs> wedding. Yeah. Really Stop being to Max Savage's wedding. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. You see a present I thought, I thought it was all a very hush-hush thing. No, I just didn't like... Because people are dead knows on social media, aren't they? Yeah, you she just start, kept like, it going off on So I just kept it off that and then went, I'm Right. Mm. Um, he just popped up one day on social media saying, yeah, I'm married. Yeah. I was like, well, it was quite... That's like, best way so we, like, we only started chatting in January. Oh, yeah. So first convo, January 2nd. Yeah. How'd you meet? Uh... Twitter. Did you? Yeah. What in a year? First yeah. meet to marriage. Six, six months. <coughs> oh. Yeah, when, when you, you know, Terry. you know. When you get to Tez's age, you can't be. Yeah, you my age. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. There's great hairs on it stopping. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, well, well, the how old are you now, Tez? Thank you. Uh, 39, 40 in April. Oh, yeah. You're going to his 40s. Yeah, yeah. What? You're going to his 40s? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so what like, are we doing for it, Tez? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got that gig. Yeah. What uh, do you want? <laughs> I'll do what I've done with Paul Smith. I'll, I'll, I'll organise it if I can come, okay? Was it Stoke no, football? Then, like, I booked it, Paul. I'm just, coming. She was just replying to tweets that I felt like she had no business replying to. Right. So I thought maybe she was dangling. Yeah, and yeah, then she, yeah. Caught, she caught a big one. And then, <laughs> uh, the Freddie Quinn's tweets as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I loved who else she was replying yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I slid into the DMs. We started chatting, started, you know, dating, chatting to Where each other. Where's she from? Uh, Chesham in Buckinghamshire. So near London. Oh. And then we went on a few dates and stuff. And she then just drive down there to go on dating now. Yeah, but like, because I go down enough for gigs and that. It kind yeah. of worked out. And then her office is based in the Midlands. So a couple of times in the middle and she, she drove up to go right. to the office and stuff. And then, yeah, we just made it official in March and then told her parents in April, got engaged in May, got married in July. That's oh, she you mind you like, She mind you like, she went to Mecca after you were married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I said to her, like, I, like, that was like one of my, like, if I get married, I want to go, like, start, yeah, start like, fresh, like yeah. a new chapter of my life with my missus. Right. Just, can you can you double that up as a honeymoon in the interest of Phil? <laughs> we were gonna. What would you do if you got <laughs> there? Uh, it'd be really funny to go, this is a new beginning. They go, great to see you again, Ted! <laughs> yeah. Fourth time again! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, Within <laughs> six months, the fastest ever! Express lane! Yeah. 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 Get them fuckers in the wheelchairs out of the way, Ted! Who won the pool? Who won the pool? Who won the pool? Yeah. You got me to gamble. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Uber Eats got him free in the fast leg. <laughs> it's the gecko. Let him in. So they get recognised in Mecca. That was weird, though. Did, did you? you? When you're on the pilgrimage. Yeah. I was like, Tez, and I'm like, I'm trying to do a thing here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, mate. God, <laughs> coming backwards. Yeah. The way to get you. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was odd. Man, that's why that, that guy was crying. He broke yeah. down. He, he yeah. saw you. Uh, so could you double that up as a honeymoon? Yeah, that was the original plan was to like tag it onto the honeymoon, but right. because. Our wedding was just after the major pilgrimage season. It was right, closed yeah. for a little bit. And then, so we had to wait until October. So honeymoon, we went to Mauritius and South Africa. Oh, Ooh, nice. nice. Safari, so that was, what, what, what was that like? The money spent in Edinburgh, I spent on that. Yeah, that's what I've um, done for most years until I've had a child. Yeah, no, so. Safari is amazing. Yeah. And like, once in a lifetime thing, like, it's so good. What was, the, what, what was the, the best? What was the worst animal you saw? The best was these lions and buffaloes having a stand like proper documentary like having a standoff. Like really? the lions trying to get the baby buffalo and the adult buffalo going <laughs> not on our watch and just oh, driving wow. the lions back. That wow. was fucking mad. Wow. Saw a lot of rhinos. And then after a bit though, because like <coughs> rhinos, you know they're going extinct. But then after yeah. like 
But they had so many there. They were like, <laughs> they were like a rhino sanctuary. <laughs> After like the half a day, you're like, oh, fucking rhinos, man. Oh, <laughs> 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 so so get it, so <laughs> get it. You're still alive, all right. Start to sit in the poke, just a point of it. It's got a no. point, fucking loads. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone moaning about? Yeah. So, when you're safaris and the big thing about seeing the big five? Yeah, so we saw everything hard to see them all. except leopards. Because they, they had oh, leopards right. come in and out of that park, but they're dead yeah. elusive. Right. Dead shy animals, they don't pause. Like everything else just is just there, and then if you yeah. see it, they're like, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Whereas yeah. leopards, like specific time of the day, they're like nocturnal, so it's difficult to spot. How long? Do you, how long was you in South Africa for? Five days. And you was mainly just for the safari. Yeah, yeah. Just it? Joburg up to the park, back to Joburg throughout. Yeah. What was how long you in Mauritius? Uh, six days, seven nights. What was that like? Paradise. Um, no boring. Did you not like it? Was it? It was fine, but I'm not really like I'm not sort of a beachy kind of sit right. down. Right, you, do you like to get up and do stuff? Yeah, like it was it was nice because like we were knackered after the wedding, so it was nice like seven days of Netflix and yeah, smoking fucks in the balcony. Right? Yeah, I so, went when I went to Maldives. It's like I loved it. My wife was a bit; she got sort of itchy feet. Yeah, just like what's the to do? Like, I think on one day I was I had a bit itchy feet, so I went into the capital. Yeah, <laughs> people were like, why why are you here? <laughs> like, there's nothing. I was like, I was City, yeah, like there's, there's, is that going to Leicester? Like, there's yeah. nothing. Right, 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 right. <laughs> there's nothing here. It's like going to Leicester. Let's <laughs> <laughs> fuck all that. Right. I don't know. Comes in the salt. You look at like, why? I hate, yeah. yeah, I hate Leicester as well. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. <laughs> I realised as well how much I hate Bristol again recently. I just hate been. it. Yeah, I, I love Bristol. Bristol. I hate I've it only been, so much. I've only been like, twice. Bristol's like one of my favourite comedy time. cities. Like I know again. everyone loves it, and I just think it's fucking rank. It's dirty. Everyone's a fucking posh person yeah. who's pretending to be, be poor, poor. Yeah. Bit, and they yeah. all stink of fucking of weed, and they're all like, and they're all like just posh kids who were trying to make their mum and dad angry and opening a coffee shop with their money, and they're yeah. all wearing hemp. Oh, they can all fuck off. I hate it. They're, Good uh, comedy crowd though. I find. Fine. Well, I've heard about the Bristol one that the 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 scene on Bristol's a little bit. Clicky. Oh, it's oh, no, I, don't, I mean, I don't. I, don't, I, don't yeah. I just go there. Do it. No, no, you you talk Bristol there, no? yeah, is yeah, the top. Like Where do you? Odd. Is that the, the most south chicken, you go, Henry Bristol? Um, uh, no, I did I saw go that to. Clip on top I, secret. Was, oh my god, I did go to fucking. I don't even know the city, man. It's on the coast, though. And that was not well attended. Where? <laughs> I can't remember a the name. A tour show? Yeah, yeah, in a tour show. Well, maybe if you took like, the time to learn the name of the town, town the <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember the name. It was on the coast. Skegness. No, I wish. <laughs> on the southern coast. I, I really uh, shouldn't go anywhere south of London, Bristol. That line between London and Bristol, I shouldn't go anywhere south of that. Right. Maybe Brighton. But even right, Brighton, okay. I've never really enjoyed doing a tour show. I've enjoyed club shows there, but never a tour, I've never really enjoyed I, a tour yeah. show there. I, like, I do like gigging in Bristol. That's the problem. I'm not trying to say... I do, I <laughs> like the gigs there, I really do, and the comedy crowds are great. I just don't like the, I don't yeah, like yeah, the city. I, get, yeah, I don't I know what it is, mm. but yeah, never is. It <laughs> feels like to, to book me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but no, because I'm doing a tour date, <laughs> so I just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> are you going on tour, Phil? Yeah, do my first ever tour next oh, year. Oh wow. wow! What? What? How many dates? Not many. Yeah, I've only put about eight in, I think. I just want right, to see good. if any sell. So I'm sure they'll sell. So yeah, so I'm Bristol. excited for that. When you when's this? Uh, when you April, announced it, I haven't seen it on your yeah. Well, I was going to announce it. Um, well, today? No, I've just wasn't not going to, but it. since you mentioned it. <laughs> he because I want to finalise a couple of more dates before I That's do That's exclusive. Official. You dropped it exclusive. I know. I know it's fucking there. we go. Phyllis.com. The only yeah, one we know well, is the yeah. only one knows Bristol yeah. so far. Yeah, Bristol. And he's shit all over the city. <laughs> <laughs> I assume God, Manchester might be happening. Preston. Yeah, Frog and Bucket in Manchester. Frog and Bucket in Liverpool. Hot Water in Liverpool. Yeah. London. London, yeah, well, that's what we're just basically. finding out. Actually, which... you know what? We're fucking we're four for four so far. Yeah, we are flying. Well, uh, not Bur 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 34 more to go. London Birmingham. Dates, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm. Five for five. Right, keep going, yeah. lads. <laughs> I'm trying to think Leeds. I'm in Birmingham. North Leeds, Leeds, yeah. Newcastle. Yeah, six for six. Edinburgh. Uh, I'm doing Edinburgh. Seven yeah, for yeah. seven. We're doing good, lads. <laughs> D Douglas. <laughs> Glasgow. Douglas. No, not doing Glasgow. Fuck. Oh, oh, sorry, boys. Yeah, that's it. Douglas, what the island? Bolton. Octo I wish. Octagon Theatre. <laughs> yeah. What else am I doing? I think I'm doing... Chorley. Little Theatre. I know, but I, I was thinking Chorley Little Theatre. You should do Chorley Little Theatre. You have to local gig in it for you. Leicester. No, it's a good... It's a lovely theatre, that as well. Nice really run, nice isn't it? Big room, no. It's a bit big, that's the thing. I'm trying to do small... I, I don't want to take... I think I could, probably the, the frog I feel more comfortable with. Mm. But I'm a bit... I've never done it before, so I don't know. It might be really well, you're gonna do. you're going to do Preston Frog? Might go back and it's got Darwin. smaller. <laughs> Darwin. Darwin, that's, that's yeah. the room that totally <laughs> looks. I love oh, that's Darwin. That's a great room. That's a nice room. Yeah, that's a good room. I love that room. Uh, What's that for? Like for you? 
Are you that uh, Blackburn's my local home. rival or no? Nah, that is Blackburn with Darwin. That's technically our town's name. Yeah. Would you do Burnley or our what? Burnley are our um, rivals. Right. No, I just mean like it's not like for me giggling back and that sort of thing. No. Right. Yeah. We're too small for that. Fair enough. Would you end a tour in Blackburn or start yeah. it there? No, end. Yeah. Because so by that time the shows should be polished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By that time they yeah, yeah. get the show there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, Amongst the, your the family in Blackburn? <laughs> yeah, they come out. Yeah. That's nice. Got to get polished for the aunties yeah, and stuff. yeah. 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 Were you have you filmed a show? Yeah, I'm. I'm going. I filmed one which came out a couple of years ago, and filmed my last one. It's just taking ages to come out, so it should come out early next year. Where did you film? Where are you putting it out? Leicester Square. Very um, nice. Just YouTube. Just You're yeah, doing yeah, 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 yeah. Just YouTube. Because at this that point, with just got to get, get the clips out and just get a bigger profile. Did you do that with that that gorilla that eight hundred pound gorilla thing? They seem to do a lot of Leicester Square shows. No, I did so. it with in house uh, UTC. Right. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. You gonna film yours? Yeah, I think I'm trying to think where though. I'm not sure yet because it's one. Well, this is the Depends Edinburgh on the room, show. Don't it? Well, this is the Edinburgh show because the reason I'm doing Edinburgh is to get a show I can tour. Yeah, mm. which is this, and then I've written the new show, mm-hmm. which I'm going to do in Edinburgh this year. Yeah, and I'm going to try and and have that completely ready for Edinburgh, whereas I'm not going to use it as a workshop, which I did last year. But it's weird, isn't it? Like when you've got you're touring this show because this one I've not done it since Edinburgh, so I'm going to do a few warm ups. Right, yeah, yeah. But I'm already excited about the next one. But I do know I love this show, and I just want to do this, and I've always wanted to tour this something like this. But I'm already going. Oh, you you think about the next thing a bit, aren't you? So you, do you like, guys write? I've got dead lazy with my writing over the last like uh, last three four years. Talk to me about like. Oh no! I'm, I'm since this part. Unless I'm, I'm writing I, for a show, I don't. I wrote a load. I've wrote a load more <laughs> since the part. Like. That's good. I, I, I've, I've got to get this. back into it. Nothing. I'm quite good now at turning. Well, if if something interests <laughs> me enough, I'm quite good now at turning around stuff material. So yeah. when when they had the that bomb in Liverpool, I got good a good five out of that. You're welcome. Um, yeah, cheers. <laughs> well, I'm a taxi driver, so you're you're welcome for us being the heroes. Um, that's everyone who use not says. Obviously, we taking you, our jobs. Yeah, Go on. sorry. Um, <laughs> and then uh, the Queen dying. Got a good bit out of that. Good, nice. good few minutes out of that. No, I'm quite good. At, if things bother me enough, I'm quite good at turning stuff around. I just like to make everything about me. That's all. Tragedy. It is. Yeah. Tragedy is your mistress. Well, no, because the hospital the bombing things, I had a unique perception of it. Of being I know, so there was no like tragedy look, in that. Look, well, look, yeah, he only killed Poor, himself. Yeah, and, and I had the unique, I had the unique point of view of being able to be from a taxi driver's point yeah, of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which what, so, so what, I come, what is this? I bomb? come at it as a taxi driver. Some guy tried to bomb something and bomb. When was this? Oh, so, um, not um, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so on on Remembrance Day, <laughs> not the one just gone, the one before, a guy tr- a guy Nine, tried 90, to bomb. Yeah, I, I was nine eleven. A, <laughs> <laughs> a guy tried to bomb um, Liverpool Women's Hospital. So he ordered the taxi. There's there's rumours. He took, the took the lady line to yeah, get When they're going to try and bomb the Liverpool Men's Hospital? That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, apparently the rumour was. <laughs> apparently, well, apparently the rumour was he took the the taxi was meant to go to the the service. Right. Remembrance service, and then they couldn't get there because the roads are blocked. So he detoured the taxi to the women's hospital, and then when he got there, mad, blew himself blew himself up. But the bomb was obviously so shit. Taxi driver realised what was going on when he got to the hospital, managed to run out with oh. min- minimal damage. Could you just, imagine the sort of like blew himself up? There must have been it. like, like even if it was a split second, yeah, that going, am I being racist? <laughs> or is this a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's yeah, yeah, the second thing like, in your head. You're going, I don't uh, want to be that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Muslim in the back with a rucksack. <laughs> and I'm not panicking about it. <laughs> but then it, it also might be a bomb, though. Yeah, 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 so yeah, would yeah, I rather yeah. be dead or racist? Yeah. Like, that's. I mean, if you had dead. that. I mean, if you had that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can, then cancelled on Twitter. Yeah, I wonder yeah, 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 yeah. if he tried to fake it. Though. I was just going to check something outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just got out. I hear the funny noise there. Just got to, just got to go check. Could you go up to like, say, a, a Muslim or who had a bad post? Go, I'm dreadfully sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but may I'm I just dread- look yeah, in your yeah. bag? Like, uh, like, I'd have to FaceTime Tess and be like, oh, hey, oh, hold on, what's this? Yeah. No, no, I'm on the phone. <laughs> yeah. To yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm yeah. not racist. Look, I've got one. Oh. Oh. I, I think most people would choose death. <laughs> yeah, stop, isn't I'd it? be too <laughs> awkward. I'd die. You'd die? But then I welcome death anyway, so it's not <laughs> bummed to me. Yeah. 
Well, well, well you just it's a numbers game, innit? You just go like, ah, it's not. Do you know what I mean? It's not. Because what are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm not yeah. being a bomb, really. So, so yeah, if I, the odds of me being racist are probably higher than yeah, other yeah, being yeah, a bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. The, probably only, the probably only reason he, <laughs> he knew was because he, 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 he diverted from the remembrance service to the hospital. Because mm. straight away you're going, that's a weird fucking diversion. Mm. That's where you're that's going, oh yeah, I'll sack that with other women's instead. That, why? It's an odd yeah, yeah, choice. Exactly. That, 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 yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. probably why, that's probably why he's, clock, he's clocked on enough to go, fucking hell, leg it. Mm. Might have been a bit racist, thing. to be honest. Maybe he was racist, yeah. When racist saves his life, and so, you know. Sexist and a racist together. Finally. <laughs> the dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, when, the, kind of when the Queen that. died, I had a little bit about. Was it a taxi driver that stopped the one in Glasgow as well? Taxi driver who punched the fella. I say in Glasgow, the one. Yeah. I mean, someone terrorist. kicked him in the nuts. Uh, he punched the fella, and he. That's it. He was a taxi yeah. driver, wasn't he? Yeah. I tell you guys, you put your front Sat- high, work highly strong, the main <laughs> 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 highly strong. Quite racist. Yeah. So, yeah. Highly strung xenophobes, that's what they are. It's like, not scared of being racist. Yeah. Well, Is that the fear yeah. of the police or taxi? Yeah. <laughs> you know the thing that happened? Neither of them knew it was a terrorist. They were just punching a brown person. Yeah. That's yeah. all it was. Yeah. Who's that? A brown he person? Got him. Oh, fuck got him. Yeah. You're lucky there was yeah. a bomb in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, it's a terrorist. Yeah. 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 yeah! What yes. you don't know is you yeah. the 98 people that got punched that yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you punch enough brown people, yeah. one of them might yeah. 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 be a terrorist, then you get away with it. It's like a paedophile, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is None toxic. Punch enough toxic. people outside someone's school, one of them's going to be a paedophile. You're going like, to look like a hero. Uh. In fact, from now on, I'm, I'm just going to punch people in playgrounds. Any dads, any on playground. <laughs> what, um, is there any adults, age limit? You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> any adults Anybody in playground, Anybody listening to bang. this that might be easily influenced, just let you know, we are not condoning going around no. punching anyone. Anyone. On the off chance they might be a terrible human being. If you are a paedophile in, working in the bootle area, I don't know, avoiding <laughs> <laughs> widening your search. Yeah. <laughs> Get on a train. To if go. you're a non-driving yeah, yeah. terrorist, then... <laughs> <laughs> Also, I can, yeah, I can't recommend enough. Yeah. Uber avoid, drivers avoid will not black stop cabs. you. Yeah, Uber use drivers Ubers. <laughs> well, that, that was one. Of, that was one of the things that come from because the fella who was in the who was the taxi driver was a private hire, and like he got loads of praise saying he locked the terrorist in. It was just, it was just you know the way scousers love other yeah, scousers. Yeah, 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 someone yeah. just made that up. <laughs> so someone just made up that he was a hero that he locked the terrorist in the, in the car, and that's why he never got into the hospital. And it was a private eye. You can't lock anyone on a private eye. That was, what, that, that was one of my things. That was, that was pissed. I was just on stage screaming, you can't lock anyone on a fucking private eye. It's like fume, like stolen valour, that cunt. Well, <laughs> Why can't you lock someone in a private eye? Is that what you got at the story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why can't you lock someone? You can't, Production. You can't lock someone in a, in, a, in a car, in a normal car. The black cabs have a special... Black like, cabs have a, have a thing so we can lock the doors. You can't get that in a normal car. Surely, isn't there a button can, on the front yeah. where you can lock all the doors? Yes. Oh, it locks the outside, doesn't lock the inside. Oh, yeah, you can open it from the inside. Right. Unless you've got the child, child locks lock. on. Yeah, but then you can't legally have the child locks on yeah. if, you're, if you're a taxi. Yeah. Oh, and you only, only hackneys are allowed to have the button. That How come you're still... Uh, why are you allowed? Why is a black cab allowed to lock someone in? That still should be illegal. It's just one of them bylaws from years ago, isn't it? They, they, we're still allowed. I think... Yeah. Me, me and Ian Sterling got into a black cab once in Glasgow. We were, and as soon as we got home, we realised we didn't want to go where we wanted to go. And we were like, oh, shit, yeah. is that here? And he just didn't listen to us. Like, for, like It was like a 20-minute journey. Wow. And he just turned deaf the entire time and then went right where here. And we were just like, we were like commentating on the situation. Yeah. Loud. Did you knock on the window? Yeah, everything. We were like, oh, I think he's kid- like, kidnapped us here. And like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just carried on driving the entire time. Like, it, got, it got funnier and funnier. And that is end, wild. Because I was like, Ian, was he was like, he's, like, he's driving. Like, he wasn't like diverted. You know, so he was going to the place where we told mm. him to go. But he just went, fuck this. I'm taking him where he has to go. Wow. Really? He just yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wow. think I know what's going on there. He's probably sat in that rank for too long. Yeah, yeah. And sat in that rank my, for an I'm hour. My fare. An hour. And then you've got it. God, some of these has gone, oh, well, at least it's paid off sitting here. And then you've got five minutes out of the road. Oh, we'll just get out here. And he's, he looks at that gone. 
you fucking won't. Yeah. <laughs> I am getting, tw- I'm getting yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm not getting, these aren't getting out and paying me a fiver. I'm not getting a five pound for an hour. People you like, I want people like, oh, we haven't got any change. We've got any cash point. And we're just like, no, he's fucking <laughs> on a mission. I, d- I kind of, res- yeah, I kind of respect that. We did, we found it funny. Yeah. It was, it got, <laughs> the longer it went on, the funnier it got. I suppose if you're in a good mood and where you need to go isn't that yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that important. If yeah. you genuinely need to be somewhere, yeah, you go, yeah, are you yeah, fucking yeah. kidding me? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, a game yeah. show on MTV where they'd have a fake taxi driver around and they'd see if you can get to $100 on the fair, yeah. you get $100. Like, he's driving around. That was the time limit, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah it was, it wasn't it. the fair. It was, if you could spend enough time with, minutes this, or so with, with this it, taxi yeah. driver. Going just the wrong be, way. <laughs> And he's just and not like going. pull over and go to a shop and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, five hundred dollars. Collect, like collect his washing and all, and you're just sitting there going, "Oh, nice." I reckon Phil would be too polite. No, you kidding would, me? He'd, he'd, he'd find out he was on a TV show, email them six months later, and go, "I want me five hundred dollars for this." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he'd do. No, if he was in the yeah. taxi, he'd be too polite to like. He'd, no, he he'd wouldn't. Win. No, he'd. Win I probably. can't. Yeah, I can't he be too polite. To when it comes to money, I can be quite. I could be a real prick. Yeah. There's no way you're sitting you there too polite. Him? Polite? Him? No, no I'm Asian. Polite? Do taxi drivers. You don't do taxi drivers? No. Oh. What is that? You're like no, Buscemi in uh, Reservoir Dogs. No, we don't. You don't tip taxi drivers? No. What are you like as a tip in general? No, like in restaurants I'll tip. Like I tip 10, takeaway. 50% or whatever. But not on the jobs? Deliverers. Not, no. You don't tip any taxi drivers? No. I tip delivery so drivers. So weird and, though. And no, we don't know. You should tip taxi drivers. Okay. Just because they know where you live. Give my dad some money then. Just because they know where you live. Just don't know. It's like you, they, they, know, they know probably the most about you than I. Like what a you threatening do. thing to say. I know. Well, that's why you tip. That's why you, you tip. Like that's like, like tip tax me drivers know where you live. That's extortion. Mm. It is, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I like, I like, 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 you know, yeah. <laughs> for, you know okay. fortunately for you, you're never going to be in a vulnerable position because you don't drink and stuff. Yeah. But then, like most people, get taxis bladdered. Taxi drivers know where you live and what you like. Oh, you, you're in a, a taxi vulnerable driver. state. You should tip them. Yeah, but let's be honest. I've, I've not tipped, and they're not. I'm not saying I've not never like. tipped. Yeah, but, but I'm not like I'll always tip. No, but it, it's honest, if it's like it eight pounds seventy, yeah, and I got a tenner, I mean, oh. it depends on the um, yeah. call it nine. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> I always get one that winds me up so much. Like, you want the pound? Yeah, yeah, oh, fine. <laughs> call it yeah. nine. When you do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's more regulars. If you get regulars that don't tip, you're a little bit like, why would you not tip? Because yeah, you're using it, the service so much. You're just going to end but, up getting. But they need money. Less service. Well, they need the money as well. Yeah, but like, is they using taxes? I assume they're not like they don't. Maybe they can't afford a car. Like you know, maybe. Do you ever tip doctors? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never, I've, I've never Nurses. paid a doctor. <laughs> Thanks a lot. The pharmacist. The pharmacist. Yeah, the, the, the pharmacist. Call the paracetamol. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you do tip. swabs on yeah. mail, are they? You, you do tip, tip like nurses. In a PPE. Oh, you can't tip a nurse. No, I've, tipped, I've tipped nurses. What? Get them flowers. And no, physically you haven't. All right. Tip. You can't tip them over. You can't give them cash. Cash in an envelope. That's a tip. It's the same thing, isn't it? No, he means tip as in push them over. No, like you give them flowers like and chocolate. Cow tipping, nurse tipping. You give them flowers yeah. and chocolate when you when you when you're, when you're, like, you're picking up your loved one. Yeah, that's thank you. Yeah, that's a thank you. Just, that's all a tip is. So if a taxi driver, so if someone was like, he's he's why a, are they he's striking? A, he's a whisper. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, he is five pound seventy and a whisper. <laughs> I have yeah, had that. Yeah. Yeah. How come? How I've had that. Well, I've yeah. been happy for him. Yeah, all right. I've had that. I've had the I've had a scratch card. Point well made. Yeah. I've had a scratch card. I've had no further questions, Your Honour. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a full McDonald's, a full McDonald's thing to put all the stamps. Yeah, here you go. Seven eighty and a whisper. <laughs> Here's all the yeah, stamps. Yeah. I'm on a McDonald's box. What about if it was a half-eaten whisper? <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't got a tip, but yeah, you can finish that <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Gone back to sit down in my... Like, yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck was that? He's fucking bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I grilled him. He wants yeah, some. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Budge. <laughs> what was you... What, have, have, what's the non-monetary tip you've taken? Something from Mackey's? I've had a full coffee thing from Mackey's. Yeah. I've had like a chocolate bar or something like that. I've had a scratch card. Um, I've had a lottery ticket. Have you ever had anything that you thought, oh, no, please? <laughs> the lottery ticket had already yeah. lost on it, though, maybe. Cheese? That was like one they, coming um, up. Che- che- cheese? What? Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> you baby bells. I've, 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 I've had batteries. <laughs> what? I've had batteries. Someone was like, yeah, because someone, so, someone was like, oh. What the fuck? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> batteries? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Where's your round? <laughs> I, used to, I used to just wake up people. Like, right. And it was just, it, they either robbed the batteries or they, they packed two and only paid for one and they've given me the batteries. As I don't want to lower the tone. Yeah. Have you, has anyone ever offered you sexual favours? I didn't say that. I would say we, no we one. We said it together. Yeah. But yeah. We got there in the end. Yes and no. Yes and no. Okay, interesting. No one's gone. Oh, oh. They haven't offered them, but no one, no, no them. one's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Someone's insinuated. Yeah. yeah, no one's ever gone. I'll what? do this rather than the fair. But like people have gone. Oh, he, he, how long are you staying out? He's, he's staying out tonight. Oh, I'm just going back. I'm just going to go back now. You could, could come in for a drink if you want. You know all that sort of thing. You're right, like, right. nah, nah. So but apparently, it happens a lot more to privates because I'm a uh, hackney. And we've got that like sort of cage. Fake taxis ruined between it. Us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that. Because we've got that thing between us, there's no like person. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not personable. Yeah. But yeah. apparently in private, I, uh, it happens loads. Because like, when you're sitting next to them at the front and stuff like that, it's much more personable. Really? I yeah. think if I drove a taxi, unless there were four people, I wouldn't, I would turn to sit in the back. Yeah, you, can oh, you, I always yeah. sit in them. I find it weird to sit up I front. always. Yeah. I did it once with a bloke and he was like, do you mind if I smoke? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, like yeah, it. unless there were like four of them and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm a Batman. Or, or three really big people. Yeah. And you're like, all right, fair enough. But otherwise, I'd Batman. be Batman. Like, unless it's on my so night then. out and you're pissed, then sit in the front, bit of therapy. But other than that, if you're sober, Batman. I'm always, Pissed yeah. in the front, yeah. give them the whole I'm always the back boot. privately. Let them cool. get you on the dash Curl cam. The, boot. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is sometimes <laughs> if you're in the back and you have to ask them to pull the seat forward in front of you and you're like, oh, I feel like I'm being... A, nu- a, a nuisance. You just sit on oh the front seat that yeah like can you push that you forward s- side on sort of no legs out a bit in it when you get a taxi do you like be like mm. yeah I would have done this I would have done this drive better <laughs> yeah, yeah. I no, did I told a taxi driver no, like, it's like, it's like watching comedy when you're like mm. is it are you like judging it sort of but not like you'd be like what's it been like you're an open mic taxi driver what's it been like and then he'll say and he'll be like how long you were what, 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 what I wish you were how long you been going yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he is right what yeah. I wish you were how much meter than that <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. who, who books that yeah. Yeah. oh you should have <laughs> been in here last yeah. week mate it was rammed <laughs> 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 what music did you tell him to turn off my taxi driver was playing really crap like really like hard music I hate like dance music yeah. so oh, I asked him to turn it off I said could you mind turning it off I said I just don't like that music and I felt like a prick I'd I was a bit drunk as well. I'd have said no. But it's really loud. I'd have turned it down. Intrusive. Yeah, that can yeah. be a bit annoying. Yeah, would you go in a shop and ask them to turn, them, turn the radio yes. off? Okay, fair enough. Yes, I would. What, in the H&M? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's absolutely bulletproof this yeah. episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Shut, yeah. 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 Would you kill that? Uh, we've all done, yeah. we've all, it's like we've all done an improv yeah. group, but we're doing the wrong. We're saying, yeah. Even he's a shaggy child. Shag a child. Shag child, yeah. All right, fair enough. I don't think anyone's quite gone that. <laughs> it could get there if we carry on. <laughs> it's only one way it's going for. Who's going into a shop saying, I, I will go and turn, turn that music? You, you're not. I can't really. Concentrate, I can't concentrate on the hobnobs. You mind turning that yeah. on? Yeah. 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 Do you mind? I'm trying to study the whoops here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see if these jeans suit me. Do you mind turning the music down, please? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Did he, just... <laughs> he did, yeah. But it was like really loud. Yeah. And I was really <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Are you being pitched, obnoxious, right? I think. Right. I was being a bit obnoxious, I think. But it was annoying me. It wasn't just like. Have you ever got, had to get into fisticuffs? Yeah. Or like close to. I've he ran to, a man over. <laughs> yeah, I've ran a man over. Mm. I've had to. <laughs> I've had to intimidate a couple of times. Right. What into pain or to leaving? Both. Yeah. Both. Um, never actually had to get into fisticuffs, but because I'm quite big, because they only see the back of your head. Quite. <laughs> Because they only see the back of your head, they don't really understand how big you might be. So they give you shit, and then if you confront them with confidence, they'll always, almost always back down. Yeah. So, like, I'll open the door, and because I've, they give me shit, if I've opened the door, they're immediately like, oh, God, he's on the oh, front they must foot. Be like, he must know what he's doing. Yeah. If he's, he's open the door, he must know what he's, he's doing. The fr- he's on the front foot. Top yeah. So immediately they'll just fucking shit. <laughs> immediately they'll back down. I've had it. Well, they know they've got at least two minutes to get out before you actually get out. <laughs> <laughs> In, in, in Liverpool, the doors open. That's only stage yeah. one. In, in Liverpool town centre ones, I saw this like little scouse lad. Like I say, little, like like my size, like five yeah. eight or whatever, just gobbing off at this stag party, yeah. and they were like six foot. All of them would have been like over six yeah. foot. These posh yeah. lads from out of town, all wearing golf, whatever. And 
these lads probably did nothing, but just yeah. little Scott, Gobby Scouse guy just giving it, and then just just knocked one of them out, and just walked off. <laughs> It just for no re- it looked like for no reason. Yeah, yeah, Scouse yeah. guy knocked out. Yeah, one yeah, yeah. Like he's like five foot eight or something, and just knocked him out. And he's on the floor, and his mates around him, and he just walked up. He walked past me, and I went. Eh? And he went eh? <laughs> Good that. I just went, eh? and he went, mm. and he just walked off, and I went. Nice one. I'm not, I'm not to read the room. Yeah, went, yeah, yeah. yeah well, you look like you deserved it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Tory, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one, one for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my mouse box room as well, yeah. I don't know why I just, I just did that little nod, like, eh? yeah. Wait, again, I'm non threatening, yeah, yeah, please leave me alone. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get knocked out in the street. It was horrible, like, it was, like, it looked like he was just, they were out of town. Yeah. And they were dressed up as idiots. Mm. I've just seen little probably tiny posh. boy, but not like a yes, knockout, him. knockout. No, I've seen one. Like, he floored him like one punch. Like it was fucking horrible. I mean, no, it was that, impressive, but I was like, it just seemed. I can't. I'm so. It just seemed unnecessary. I'm so classic scouse. I can't help but be mean. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm like, I'm it, so it just looked unnecessary. He's probably been. Horrible, it was impressive. It was impressive, yeah. but I was like, if you can't do that, one lad on his own, and like, then there's ten of them. Yeah, but there's a couple of other lads around him, but they weren't like. They were like <laughs> it looked like they were harassing yeah. those lads, and then he just knocked one of them out. Longley put a good ball on a story. Yeah, the but it, it was it. like, but I was like, but I was like, but if you can, but I always be like, if you can do that, you shouldn't. Mm. Like, if you're capable of that, then you probably shouldn't do it. He does that a lot, I bet. Unless it's like, unless it's like necessary, and it didn't seem necessary in that moment. Mm. Well, you don't know. I mean, it looked like these boys were trying to walk off. Yeah. Unless they said do. some, I don't know. I'd love to be one of those surprise knockerouters. Like, they're all starting on me. Oh, and like everyone it. looks at me and goes, no, but as in, like, you go, oh, he's picking on, someone's picking on me. Like, mm. I'd love that, like a group of lads like that, but they're picking on me. And then all of a sudden I just go, but like a really, and it just knocks yeah, them out. And everyone goes, whoa, I'd love that. That's not it. I like that. Yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but give it that's a chance. Not, <laughs> that's like, that's like a Power not. Ranger. <laughs> that would knock someone out. Yes. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> yes, it would. All right. No, no, no. for the questions. <laughs> yeah. You'll find it would. I don't want to yeah. run about it, but uh, I have had a oh. bit of training. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's stronger than he looks. No, I'm not. Uh, spindly. I'm a spindly man. I nearly, have I told you this? I nearly hit someone the other day. You always getting into f- in a car arguments. with your fists, with your legs, with some truths. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Let's, tell, let's finish on this story. I want it. I want it. No. We'll finish on this story. Right, this one. has never happened to me before. I just found this fascinating. Right. I thought, right, see what you think of this. If this never happened to you, so I was sat in this pub, uh, Pever on the Peak in Manchester. This pub, yeah. it's a great little old pub, and it was. And I was sat on my own in the corner because I knew it was filling out because it was getting like to five p.m. I was meeting a friend mm. at about half an hour, but I thought. I don't want to sit on one of these big four tables. I'll sit in the corner. It's only a little table. It's not mm-hmm. that big. So I sat in the corner. It's all like one bench that goes around. And then other chairs around it. So it started to fill up. And I'm just sat on my own with the headphones mm-hmm. and that. And then this, you can see that people are looking around mm-hmm. for places. And there's no actual just free empty tables. There's a lad on a the table of four there. That, and this guy, this young lad, he's probably like in well early 30s, a little beard. Mm. And, and they look quite like he works. He's got a good job. And they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll go out for a drink. Very work. corporate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like in the mid-30s. Yeah, let's go for drinks. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I've organised. Michael's organised. And then he was looking. I could see them looking around. And then he came over to me. And I just can't understand. So I'm sat there. He goes, hey, um, sorry, do you mind if we sit, um, me and my three friends, do you mind if we sit in the corner there? And I went, Oh, right. I said, uh, no, it's fine. He went, yeah, he says, um, he says, so we can sit in the corner. I went, oh, you, I said, you want, you want to sit where I'm sat? And he went, yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. I went, you want me to move? <laughs> and he went, yeah, if you don't mind. I went, no. I went, you can, you can sit round <laughs> me. I thought he went, like, normally you'd go. Yeah, 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 and yeah, I went, yeah. Can we share this table? Yeah. And I yeah. went, you can sit round me, but I'm not moving for you. And he went, Ugh. oh, right. He said, um, it's just we want to sit in the corner there. And I was like, I don't understand what's happened. I looked at this guy. I was going, I don't, I don't understand what this yeah, is. I'd, and I went, I'd have yeah. up with that. I went, um, no. I went, no. I went, you know, you're not moving. And he went, oh, okay. It's just we've got crisps. So what the <laughs> fuck does this mean? Because yeah. he obviously meant he wants to open the crisps. Yeah. He basically I'd have probably he, moved, he wa- ended up moving and then been fuming about what I'd have. He basically wants, wants the table. table. He, he wants the, the table is what he wants. And it was a little table and there's a guy. Yeah. So they ended up sitting, uh, this other one, and it was, oh, that was it. When they went to sit with this guy and this guy yeah. moved up a bit, they went, oh, it's just we've got crisps. I was like, that's not, 
You don't ask That's someone to leave, reason, do you? Yeah. You sit around them. It was so weird. I just, that is mad. That is I was just baffled. And I had all these visions of me going, oh, I should have. Like, you know, he just get so angry at how rude someone was. That, that, he must have done that before and someone has moved for it. It's, not, it's the entitlement, the, the isn't it? entitlement, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. I just couldn't. And he looked but shocked I, that you never... Oh, and he looked shocked, that's what oh. did it. Because I just couldn't and stop I laughing And I he had a very point. punchable face. Like yeah. a yeah. Did, that was what was it. And I was just like, everything about... And I was like, well, obviously I'm not going to... But I, Oh, it got me so... But I was finding it so funny because I've never experienced that. Mm. Anyone talk like that. So I just couldn't stop laughing about it. I was just like, God, I'm so angry. I wish I'd have... Oh. I had that with a BMW <laughs> that, like, driver that, like, the other day. <laughs> like we were going down the street, and I sort of drove a bit on the the pavement so we could both get past. And he just waited there, and he's in like this big brand new like BM yeah. private plate, old fella like sixty five. And as I drove past, he's just like this proper miserable gamma face like that, staring at me. And I was I had oh, family man. in the car, and I was and I was like. What the fuck did he just look at me like? And I was, I, I was saying, I like, get horrible mad. stuff. I, I was saying, I hope all him and his wife and his kids are in. Oh my I god! Get I, was, I was livid with Again, him. Livid I with get him. mad road because of the size. I am. I, I, I like when they do that. I just slow right down and wind my window down and I see if they wind the window. I've had it once before where a fella did similar thing. There's plenty of space for two cars, and I drove, and he's done that. Stared at me. Angry, just look, just angry, look at shaking his head, and I've gone sad and Romy went down. What are you shaking your head at? And he's gone. Like, he, he just he couldn't he couldn't justify himself. He's just he's fuming. And he couldn't justify himself, and I've gone. Just pl- don't shake your head at me because you're incompetent. And then he just like spins off as fast as he could. Then couldn't well, couldn't drive. I, was like, I only saw it as I was passing because yeah, the glare yeah, on it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the glare because I'm always nosing and looking yeah. at people as I'm driving past. I only caught him like here as I was yeah, going yeah, past, yeah, and I had the yeah, family. Yeah. That I thought I can't be. It's just it's so but, funny how, how mad so... people get road rage. Yeah, let's go. And it, people okay. get people get road rage, and then you're just like, I was a fight outside the one stop to table. <laughs> <that one. laughs> no, and let's not. Right, Phil, where can we find you? I am the Phil Ellis at the Phil Ellis. And Phil Ellis Comedy on Instagram. Look out for the tour announcement. Yes. Yeah, tour announcement coming soon. Big tour coming soon. At Sponsored least eight by dates. Pepsi Cola. <laughs> Tez. Uh, tezilias.com for my website and at Tez Ilias everywhere on your social media. Lovely. Let's go.